Are we live? Live. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Welcome to the Mistborn fan casting session, everyone. Hi. Hey. Thanks for uh, having today. me. Today. Of we course. have someone extra. We have a, a no, no, not extra. It's a very a wonderful condiment. <laughs> I don't know. We did not discuss this. <laughs> we did not. Grey Poupette is, or is it Grey Poupet? I, I only uh, ever works. call you Grey. Uh, it is... depends how French you want to get with it. But uh, yeah. Wonderful. Well, Grey has a really wonderful YouTube channel. And uh, also, he is a regular thinker over on Kitta's channel. Uh, and he is someone who has read the Mistborn trilogy and very kindly uh, encouraged Kite and I to read it. So I thought he would be a wonderful guest for our first live stream on the channel. Yeah. Uh, so one thing, I haven't quite finished the third one. Some, I think I was in the wrong headspace. Um, I remember reading the first two and then I dropped out somewhere in the third one. So I do need to reread uh, re it, I should say. Uh, but I just kind of did. Hello? Oh, he just kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it is uh, amazing. And I need to finish it out now. Uh, I think I'm in the right cool. headspace for it now. Fantastic. But, uh, and I think you had mentioned that you've read The Way of Kings, right? Yes, um, I'm kind of a Brander stan, if you will. I've pretty much read everything that he has done except for Mistborn uh, Era 1 and 2. Um, I don't know why that is. I kind of went into um, the Stormlight Archive, which is Way of Kings and uh, the others. Uh, and I don't know. It, he, it's just he is advanced so far beyond this uh, in the way that he writes that uh, I don't know. It was kind of hard going back. Um, I tried Mistborn after I'd done kind of the Stormlight Archive. And uh, yeah, I think I was just in the wrong headspace for it. But uh, yeah, I read almost every one of his things. And I even did his uh, year of Branderson last year where uh, he gives you like five exclusive books and then a whole bunch of merch and stuff. So nice. I've got like Mistborn bookends. Nice. Hi, Taylor. Oh, that's cool. Um, yes, Mistborn bookends. <laughs> They're pretty sweet. Uh Okay, so uh, the way I would like to structure this, uh, first off, for everyone watching, I had asked both Kite and Gray to do two sets of casts. One will be the current cast, meaning actors that could slot into the role today and make a wonderful series or movie or what have you. And then the parameters for the second cast, the timeless cast, I basically said any actor, alive or dead, at any age you want them to be for the role, we can slot in. So what we're going to do, I think, is take it character by character uh, in order. So I'll, I would like us to explain why we picked the actor that we did for the current uh, and then why we pick the actor for the timeless, and then we reveal the actor uh, oh, in yeah. that order. Does that make sense? Okay, so explain before the reveal makes sense. Yes. So. I think I can do that. But uh, hopefully I don't spoil the character with the description. I don't know, or the actor with the description, I should say. Well, that's but, the yeah, fun of times. it. Try and figure yeah. out. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> And uh, I don't know. He's cast Pedro in like every role so far. So it's true. <laughs> every role, my entire <laughs> cast list is Pedro Pascal. Um, but it's him doing every other role that he has already done. So his Kelsier is just Oberon Martell. His Marsh is mm. the Mandalorian. <laughs> no. So the first, the actor that I picked to play Kelsier for uh, a series made today, I wanted to go with someone tall, uh, someone who can balance both that seriousness, but also the 
um, sort of nihilistic uh, humor uh, and relaxed aura about him. Uh, I wanted someone fairly attractive uh, and obviously I needed a blonde. So I went with, why is it not showing up? <laughs> One moment. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Oh my God. It is Pedro Pascal, right? <laughs> He's just for Absolutely record. is. Dan Stevens. Oh. Mm. Oh, I get it. Yeah. So Dan Stevens hmm. played, uh, well, Beast. Hi, Andrew. Uh, he played, uh, what, what was the character in Crawley. the X-Men? Oh, in X-Men? Yeah. I don't know. But in, uh, in um, he, he, was, he was great in uh, Downton Abbey. Excellent. Mm. I actually haven't seen Downton Abbey. Oh, you should because do yourself you're a male. <laughs> oh, look, there you go, Grace. So well, I don't know what that... I'm condiment, so... <laughs> yeah, but okay. it's a great show. He's beyond. Le beyond. <laughs> it was Legion that I had seen him in. Uh, uh, I was going to say, I think I would have recognized him as an X-Men, but yeah, that makes sense as Legion. Where did where did you reckon... You also recognized him just from... Um, from Dodd's Nabby? I think so. I was trying yeah. to place where I recognized him from, and I couldn't. And then when you said it, it's like, that's probably the only thing that I know him from. But uh, I, hmm, interesting choice. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know about how old he is or anything like that? Uh, he, I think, is in his late 30s or early 40s. So age was oh, okay. absolutely cool. something. He just looked younger to me in there. Fair. Uh, but yeah, age was important, especially something that was important for me when casting Kelsier was his, uh, how he would appear next to Marsh. I, I didn't care so much how he appeared next to Vin. It was the Kelsier Marsh relationship that I cared quite a lot mm -hmm. about. Um, and then for the timeless cast, uh, I kind of feel in general with my timeless cast that I didn't, um, get to uh, like really take advantage of the parameters because a lot of the folks I cast were uh, are more or less still around and probably capable of playing the roles. I just, I just personally feel like they might've aged out of most. Oh, of I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy to hear that actually, because, because <laughs> that's kind of, um, I, I tried, I, I tried as well. That's exactly what mine did as well. I, I was like, yeah, they could probably pull it off now. Um, but yeah, the, the, the timeless, yeah, the timelessness, the time that's exactly what I did with my timeless thing was just like, okay, if I could, let, let's try and, and but yeah, I, I let me let me preface before I even get to we even get to mine, but like, yeah, <laughs> my, my uh, I I expect Dorcas and Gray's ones to just be way better than mine because they just have a better grasp of cinema and film and all of that. Um, I needed help with mine. Uh, anyway, you're so, giving me a lot of credit, and I am just a <laughs> condiment. So I, I, I worked very hard on both of my cast lists, and I was making changes all the way up to last night. Um, <laughs> it took a lot more work than I thought, as well. Uh, right? I did most of mine today, but yeah. <laughs> I wanted to so, make sure the book was fresh and I had finished up to the point that we're at to truly understand the characters. Cool. Can I yeah. also and ask I had. You Go know. on. Uh, did you? What I did it is I stayed away from because initially when we first spoke about um, casting and stuff, one of the things that we did do was we uh, we looked at some fan castings to see what what um, ooh what yeah, they spoilers yeah. a ton in there. Um, the, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I got spoilers, and well, like not exactly. It's not like a, you don't really, but you're like, wait, I, I, I saw like, a few names. But yes. names alone didn't mean much to me. Yeah. I still, I was just like, no, I don't want to know. You know, <laughs> that, that it's not yeah. a spoiler. It doesn't spoil it technically. But you're like, no, I don't want to know that now. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Uh, so, 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 yeah. So I stayed away from from actually looking at other people's castings again because I really, 
even though it would have been so much easier because um, people have a lot better knowledge than I do um, in terms of actors and things and better. I could agree with somebody a lot easier than I could find my own. But I was like, no, let me stay away from that because of one, the spoiler thing, uh, subtle spoiler. And, um, <laughs> and to make it harder because why not? Make it right. difficult. As well. So, so there was a point where I absolutely did stop looking at fan castings. The names mm -hmm. that I saw, um, and they're not much of a spoiler for Kitty and mm -hmm. I anymore, uh, given the last chapter that we read that we're going to record tonight, were Hoyt and Lord Venture. But one can imagine Lord Venture was going to be in the story at some point. Mm -hmm. um, uh, mine was actually that Lester Bourne's Lester Bourne is was going to be start to be called Spook. Spook. Yeah. Hoid. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so well, go on. Yeah. Actually, I I don't know if I, uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah. My, okay, okay, okay. Oh, she, oh, she, Gray's got to hold on to his knowledge over here. Got to dole out small facts. Just got to figure out whether it's a spoiler or not. Well, I mean, so I think that they just said the whole spook thing, but I don't think I read ahead or anything like that. But I thought, like, right as Ven wakes up after her wound, yeah. uh, he is then spook. Yeah. But, so I don't know. I, I guess that would have yeah, been a no, no. spoiler. Oh, because you would have been It wasn't that much Sorry, of a spook. It was, yeah. Because I was like, who's spook? Ooh. And they didn't say Lester Bourne's versus spook they're, they're, or, or slash spook. They didn't do that. It was just, um, it was just spooks. I'm like, who the hell? Okay, I guess we're gonna meet a guy named Spook. And then, then it actually it was kind of pleasant saying, "Oh, that's the that's who Spook is." That right. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry. Yeah. For my timeless Kelsier, uh, I think this is a choice that a lot of people want. Uh, I think he's just a bit older uh, mm -hmm. for the role, which is why he goes in this cast. I went with Jamie Lannister himself. Nikolai oh, Kosterwald. Yeah. Uh, I have to... I, I don't know much about... Hold on. Okay. So yeah, Nikolai Kosterwaldo. I hope yeah, I said that, that name sense. correctly. The whole blonde thing going. Um, maybe a bit too good looking, but it works. I think you could ugly him up a bit, uh, oh. you know, give him the scars, give him the ragged clothing. I, I don't know. He And he could do this. He could do the, that cynicism very well. I think he could do that, yeah. the, the cynicism, but, but not the but positive positivity that's in the cynicism. You know, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but he can do that attitude very well. Um, I do think uh, some of, also some of my, my casting as well, it just eventually just went down to uh, appearance because I wasn't too sure about how people could do the, the role, but I just, I tried, okay? That's all I'll, I'll say. Cool. Uh, okay, so Kitty, who is your current cast Kelsier? A current cast? I think it won't be, ex uh, ex blah, blah, it won't be surprising to you. Um, uh, I've mostly explained. I, I think he he's he goes along with the uh, exactly the same sort of thing as you were talking about, where good looking but not like over the top, um, and you could ugly him up, I suppose, as well. Um, can do that kind of confidence, but also uh, I don't know, all mischievous look. Bradley Cooper is my current guy. Bradley Cooper was on my list for quite a while. Mm -hmm. He was the he was the first person I thought of when we were when we even got into the conversation about about who could I cast, and I just thought of his his just him actually uh, the way that he seems to be, and and he just seems to make a good Kelsier for me. Um, I, I I I like looking at him. He 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 makes me feel good things. In, and not in that way, but like in, he, I like Kelsia and I feel like I could map those feelings onto this actor very well. Um, 
So I, he's actually my my the my the one I'm most comfortable with in my my casting. Um, then I had to stretch my imagination for timeless because I had absolutely no one else in mind. Um, <laughs> uh, I I went uh, uh, with the help of my wonderful husband. I will give him a shout out, even though he's not going to hear this. Um, Hi Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Um, Jeff Bridges. <clears throat> Young Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Mm -hmm. this was Interesting. Because I was, yes, this is because I was like, well, let's go old timey. Because I was, I was going to, a lot of the time, I wouldn't have a timeless cast. But then I was like, no, I have to, they will, they will not be happy if I don't, if I come without a, a timeless so I tried, okay? Very young, very young. Maybe not. Let me see if I can find a picture that I was looking at. Can I? Yeah. When when, when it doesn't fit, I'll find the picture for you, okay? Uh, sure. <laughs> what? You guys laugh? I know nothing of show books, but I'm feeling kiddies pics. Thank you. Jeff Bridges, Let's... young. Um, so you do not like this picture that I put up? Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting. I'm getting the. I mean, that's I like Starman era. Uh, you might want to go like Last Picture Show era or something like that. I don't. I don't know. I, I'll have to find a picture. The picture that I had in mind. Okay. Morning Man. Cla Morning Man Classic. Jeff Bridges. That's what it's called. This thing over here. Let me. Oh, wait. Let me see. Copy image link. Doing it live. Okay. Doing it live. <laughs> okay, here yeah, I'll put it in private chat. There you go. I don't know. I don't know if, as an actor, he could do it. I don't know, but there you go. I think he could. I think he could. He would have been able to pull it off. Oh, Jeff Bridges could do anything. The dude. He really could. He, awesome. Like that's also uh, because he's the be dude. I was like, yeah. I, I haven't seen him do like a super physical role like that, but uh, yeah, I mean that era of him would definitely be awesome. Mega uh, he's not necessarily like the most hulking or uh, you know physically. Yeah, you don't need him to be. I don't. Fellow. Yeah, Kelsey doesn't need, need to be. Especially, um, yeah. Mega points in my book for the unconventionalness of of it. I love unconventional picks. Gordon really helped me out with this. And when I did, when, when I, 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 so what I would do is he would give me an idea and I would go and look at the pictures and then I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So that was one. And also the, that, that also you, you also mentioned that your, you, when you considered who you were casting for Kelsia, you did think of Marsh. So I'll refer back to that next time. Okay, great. Yeah, so um, I was I, I was looking for kind of a more fatherly figure. Um, we're kind of getting into I, I don't know the last chapter or so seemed more like he he had a certain way of uh, treating Vin, and you know, like he definitely seemed like more of a father figure. And it's kind of seemed that way all along. It just kind of had to uh, evolve a bit. So I I don't know. I think there should be some age difference between them. Um, I might have gone a little bit too far, but again, I'm not looking for somebody who's like physically intimidating, but it has to be somebody that can, you know, really portray that they've gone through a lot and really kind of carry that, uh, you know, huge emotional depth that uh, mm -hmm. they went through something horrific. And uh, I don't know, uh, maybe it's just me, but I had um, kind of this character or this actor and somebody else in mind for Marsh and it it kind of goes together in my head. Mm -hmm. um, they might have aged out a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I, I think you could pull it off. So I actually chose for my current one, um, Dorcas's timeless one. So I also went with uh, <laughs> Nicola Costa or Waldo. Uh, but I, I, when I first read this, it was a few years ago, and that's who I just had like pictured. It was in the middle of Game of Thrones. Um, so I, I'd be cool with the same one. Uh, you know, it would be cool if he was a little bit younger, but that works with who I've got for uh, Marsh. So I, I hope it works, but they are definitely a little bit older than uh, it should have been. But uh, I just see him as being able to actually take that journey that the character requires. 
Um, and I think he could really pull it off. Mm. And then uh, for my timeless one, I kind of did a weird curveball, but I'm kind of doing that with Marsh as well. Um, again, it, it doesn't have to be somebody who's physically intimidating, but it has to be somebody who, you know, they do have a certain effect, like on the room, if you will. Um, definitely always smiling and kind of an odd sense of humor. Um, on top of that, uh, a, a little bit older so that you could get uh, the whole dynamic with Ven. And then I would also want them to be able to take that whole emotional journey. And, uh, you know, I actually think that David Tennant could work as this. Ooh. He would have to blonde out a little bit. But um, I, I could see him donning the cloak. Uh, mm -hmm. He hasn't done anything like as physical as that. But uh, I, I don't know. I think him mixed with my Marsh could work. Ah. I just want to make these it, things. It's happen. a little bit of a curveball. <laughs> it, it's you know what? It's unconventional. <laughs> well, that is it's, the weirdest picture. But yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> you know what, uh -huh. Taylor? Taylor, I, it was so hot, so difficult not to to include Henry Cavill. Don't worry. <laughs> well, scary. so far, I mean, no, I we've got I'll, more I'll characters. Spoiler alert for mine! For mine, spoiler alert: no Henry Cavill. What? But Not even I, timeless casting. Yeah, I didn't have him either. But um, what? It, but Not there even? is okay. one. Okay. There is one. If you know me, that will be very obvious. You'll just be like, "Okay, are you done? Like, hurry up." Okay. That's another. That's a better one. That's a better one. Yeah, I think that works. I like that that quirkiness of it. The, he he could do it. Yeah. I unironically think David Tennant might be one of like the best actors of our time. So mm. I have no I think doubt he could he take could you on that emotional journey and have that depth. Yeah. Um, I don't know. He would definitely. <sighs> it does uh, seem of... a bit odd, but I, I think he works with yeah. my Marsh. We'll we'll see. You you might think I'm just crazy after this. One of my bits of feedback with a lot of suggestions that Gordon gave me were like, "Oh, but we'd waste him on that character." <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yes." So, um, but There's I don't so think he would be wasted on, on this character at all, no. So, as I had said, my Marsh pick had to correlate directly to my Kelsier cast. Um, I needed someone who I thought would be a bit shorter in height uh, and a bit less attractive, a, a, a slightly duller version, so to speak of Kelsier, oh. uh, but yes. who has that iron in the eyes intensity and seriousness. And obviously you need an incredible actor who can do that and who can have, who can be intimidating in a different way than Kelsier. Um, so I went with Aaron Eckhart. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. okay. I get it. I could see it. They work they work together. Yeah. So you've got Dan Stevens up against Aaron Eckhart. You can see the uh the the softness com you know, like the diff the contrast between the brothers in your castings. That that works. You can see that. So like there is the you can see that they would probably be relate. You could see that could re be related, but it's like, oh, if Kelsia was was harsh. You would be Marsh. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, 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 okay. And then the timeless cast. Again, I feel like this is an actor. Like, this would be the dream actor for me. He mm -hmm. completely and unequivocally has the, uh, the intensity down. Uh, I just think he's aged just a touch too much for mm -hmm. the role. Super basic pick, I think, but Sean Bean. Oh hmm. no, is Marsh gonna die? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, yeah. He goes on a very interesting journey that uh, it would be fun for an actor to go on. Uh, it would be interesting to see any of these people go on Marsh's journey. I've just all the characters really grow, uh, like not like spoilers idea. or anything like that, but um, much like Wheel of Time, you know, like it starts mm. out very small and it goes like very big, it goes to a very different place in the end. So, all the characters have growth, mm. 
Excellent. We've we've still like even into chapter nineteen, we've got almost no marsh. Mm -hmm. uh, like the latest we heard is that he is going to be able to infiltrate the obligators, right? Mm. <laughs> One does not simply go on marshes, too. <laughs> but yeah, I think you're right about the, him. He's aged out of it, so. Um, but he would be. He would be very good. Yeah, that would work. Oh, that would work. I, it makes me sad. Casting things makes me sad because I'm like, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And then uh, what you mentioned, too, about the, uh, you know, like you don't want to waste them in one spot because it's like there's so many actors that, you know, I think they could play multiple roles, but uh, it, it's not that kind of story. Hmm. Kite, okay. who is your Marsh for a current cast? For a current cast? Okay, again, the, the age thing might be... A, mm, uh, initially, I had someone else uh, because I was looking at who looks like Bradley Cooper. But he was also out of age, so he would actually end up being timeless. Uh, but so uh, with a little bit of help, um, and yeah, maybe it's it's a basic bitch, but uh, Christian Bale. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if we're talking intensity, I think that he could pull that off. Um, but it was more about just well, how does he look and what does he look like next to um, Bradley Cooper? And it works. He, he might be out of the age age thing, but, you know. No, nah, yeah. I think that would work. Um, He's not, we plus, shouldn't have uh, him smiling. I, have him have him not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's worked with Cooper before. Uh, oh. You know, they've got it. I've got chemistry. Uh, I, I don't know. He does seem a little bit older. I could see that older brother thing going on. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's what also I thought of. Like, okay, well, it's fine if he's he is a little bit aged out because he is older he doesn't he he looks like Elsia. you can easily mistake him but it you know he's he's older um so yeah well there he looks younger than bradley um i'm being very <laughs> uh, picky with the pictures don't sm stop smiling why are there so many smiling pictures of christian bale he's insane uh here's <laughs> one uh wait let me I got one that isn't smiling. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. It's... Okay. No. Uh, let me see. Let me see if. Oh, we got better. a BMO. Hi, BMO. Yeah. What about that one? Uh, do 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 do. Oh, yeah. Well, that's. Definitely a picture of him. <laughs> what do you think? Is it bad? <laughs> no. I love him. Stop smiling. There were not this many smiling pictures of him last night. <laughs> like maybe he would steal the show too much, actually. <laughs> Perfect there is Marsh. That's why are you guys exactly laughing? I, I, I think it's pretty... <laughs> okay. Um then uh because of the jeff bridges right i was like uh i don't know what to do so i said for my time list would be kurt russell um so go for young kurt russell and I, that's oh. only it, you they, they they it's because i was i i don't didn't have anyone else in mind i was just like let's just try someone let's find someone uh um, fun fact Mm -hmm. I strongly considered Wyatt Russell for Kelsier. Oh well, that then that makes at least it makes sense. There's there's something genetic here. No, no smiling. <laughs> People <laughs> smile in pictures, Kit. Eh? <laughs> Not we in need, this world. We need it's Marsh. Very... It's very okay. Sad. Okay, I got one. I got one. I got one. It's a good one. Okay. Is it the soldier one? It'd work. Not a clue. Any of them from soldiers should be an ash-filled world. There it is. All right, that'll work. That is there. definitely not soldier, but it'll work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm liking it. Uh, Gray, what's your marsh pick? Okay, so I was going with uh, Nicola Costa Waldo and... Uh, 
you know, I didn't think he'd aged out. So I checked his age. I think he's 52, if I remember right. Um, so I was trying to go with an actor that would work with that age. Um, and then, like I was saying, it, when I was reading it, uh, since I kind of had his face in mind when I brought up like a brother of his, for some reason, this other face kept uh, popping up in my head. Um, and he seemed right for the role for me. I don't know if the actor would take it, but, uh, you know, they've done tough roles in the past. And uh, I think they could also go on the journey that this character is going to go on. Um, so I actually also chose Aaron Eckhart as mine. Uh, if you look at him next to Nicola uh, Castor Waldo, they look like they're brothers. Like, mm. uh, I, I don't know. That's who I chose for my current one. So uh, for every reason you cast him was the same reason I did. But then also, I, I think he even looks a little bit more like, uh, you know, Jamie Lannister. Oh, that's so cool. I love that you guys matched up. Yeah. Yeah. I I think uh, we might not be alone on that. Uh, when I, So I did try to come up with character descriptions, and a lot of them had fan. Uh, the people listed out the description of everything. I didn't find a great job, so that's why I reread it. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. But, um, oh, uh, so that was probably me, Andrew. I usually mute when I'm uh, typing. But, yeah, I have the loudest uh, keyboard because actually, I want to know that I'm hitting a key. I, I was actually thinking it was me clicking my mouse because for some strange reason, uh, I have my mouse like right next to my microphone. I hope it's not too distracting. It could be me. Uh but yeah, and then for my uh, timeless one, I, I went a little different. So if I'm going Tenet, I wanted to go somebody who could seem like a brother to him, a little bit older. Um, so yeah, I ended up going with uh, Mads Mikkelsen on that one. Um, I think he could really do the journey that he's going to go on. I, I don't know if he would think that this character is below him, though. Uh, I'm not sure I could get him, so it's a dream casting. But uh, I, I don't know. I think him paired with Tenet could be a, a really fun, interesting kind of family. But um, yeah, I was thinking kind of the more serious, less, uh, I don't know, lighthearted brother. The not smiling one all the time. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen that dude smile. Yeah, there you see. This important. Mm. Okay. I like looking at that man. Yeah. And uh, he could definitely carry that character, but oh. uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think he might have aged out of it. Yeah, he's he's out of it now, but still. Mm -hmm. Bimo, so, Bimo's throwing out some hot ones, yeah. The hey, hottest he might ones. be on the list. You don't know. Yeah. Danny DeVito, in, I could see it. It would be a unique choice, but I could see it. Uh, so I was... There are a couple of young actors in the cast, and I don't pay attention to young actors. Um, mm -hmm. But I think sure you don't. Sure, I don't. I don't. But I think I got a hand. I actually had uh, trouble with it myself. Uh, and then it's like, how exactly do you Google a list of that without <laughs> being weird? Um, yeah, no, I actually ran into kind of the same issue. So. So I, I think I had a weird solution to it, but I'd, I'd like to know your choice. The character that I picked for Vin, uh, I have seen play uh, boyish roles very well. She's... Uh, I, I think she looks the part, uh, and I've seen her do some pretty intense characters. Uh, I went with hmm. Sophia Lillis. Oh, oh, that would work. From uh, It, right? From It and from the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Oh, she's actually a really good All right. Actress. She was totally I'm in that one. She's great, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just darken her hair, maybe give her some contact lenses. I don't think Ben has blue eyes, does she? I don't know. We don't, that's another thing. Like, you actually don't have that much physical description. So, it could be anyone, really. You just know that she's got dark hair. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I thought she would pair fairly well with my Kelsier. Oh, she is so Vin. That's a nice one. Uh, I did consider uh, 
what was her name? The girl from the Willow series that got removed from Netflix. Yeah, but she's um, yeah, I I also considered her. But I I don't like her. That because of that. Uh, <laughs> that, that that put me off her. Yeah, Ruby Cruz. I mean, uh, it has nothing to do with her. It's just the character pissed me off so deeply that I'm just yeah. Like, you know what? Let's just touch that. <laughs> But ultimately, I'm so I'm very pleased with Sophia Lillis uh, in this oh. role. I think, uh, and then oh god, he's gonna he's gonna be Vin for me. Sorry, yeah. And then uh, for my timeless cast, I picked uh, an actress who is exceptionally talented, uh, who I think could capture the more girly aspects of Vin, but still maintain that tomboyishness when necessary. Uh, I went with a young Winona Ryder. Oh yeah, definitely. Huh. Any day of the Interesting week. choice. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen her do anything physical like that. That would be interesting. That would have been cool. Yeah, we, we also, we are, uh, what's a dream casting in that like, we're assuming that that people could that they could just do it. They could pull it off. Hmm. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, I did kind of give some people physical roles that I don't know if they could pull off, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's my dream. I mean, oh, I love when do what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're making just get me a stunt double. My <laughs> choices. Uh, okay. So, Kite, who was your Vin pick? Okay, mine is also very basic, bitch, um, because it's actually the most likely that would happen today. Uh, mine was Jenna Ortega. I know that she hmm. is um, she is n not uh, she she's his Hispanic, but she is she does win because of the Wednesday thing. It. Uh, you know, you can still just, you can see she's pale. She makes the paleness work. So, um, oh, you're going to hate the picture I yeah. just screenshotted. So now did I, you get, I'm no, no, you got to get, get them all. <laughs> one. I think she has that, she has that beauty that is, is unusual. So that would work. You don't want her to be like conventionally pretty in this, like, you know, like you don't want her to be, I don't know, Margot Robbie kind of looking so you want it to, and she 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 has she is very she she could be made to look younger and I, again i don't know um of i don't know about about 16 year olds <laughs> so i could, <laughs> couldn't really uh could couldn't cast them otherwise but yeah i think she could she could make a good vin she's actually quite a she's a quite a talented actress i think she is um, very but, talented but yeah. that me saying that doesn't really mean much but yeah that that's i i just i think it's an obvious choice so people would be like Duh, about it but she she could totally pull it off in my mind um okay i did i had two for my timeless but i have to find the the right picture for this one uh i will i will put <laughs> I'll put the her in the chat there. Um, the name, I need her, yes, and okay, and, and I'll I find need a her to one. be much younger. Huh, that is an interesting choice. Uh, uh, yeah, she's got the same sort of unusual. Well, well, she's she's got that beauty. This it was this picture that that got I got me. it. I got a good okay. one. I this think is the it image anyway. That I chose. Is she smiling? No. <laughs> she's gonna no. be smiling, isn't she? No, she's not. That that was almost the same picture. The dark, huh. That is go and check the one that I put in there. It's the same thing. It's the same sort of yeah. yeah it almost looks like a mugshot. Strange. Wait, hold on. Here we go. It does. Why? It, uh it, why? Okay. It's not oh, a it's, link. In, it's on it's on Twitter. Oh, that's weird. If you just like copy the picture and put, uh, share it in Discord, I can work. Okay, with that. that'll be better. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. That's I what I didn't I notice see. Bemo's comment of Bill Murray is ham. That's making me rethink <laughs> everything. I considered Anya Taylor Joy uh, 
in a different role. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't cast her, but I did pick her or uh, consider her. Oh, what am I doing? Going to Discord. Going to Discord. Oh, good picture. Much better than the one I picked. Do, 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 do. So she also has that like. Uh, I prefer Winona Ryder for her, but but she does have that. That just really, I think it's because I saw that picture that I was like, oh, that works. That's what Win would look like with long hair. I I really like her as an actress too. Mm. So I'm I'm confident she could uh, pull it off. Uh, yeah. Mr. Gray, who's your Vin? Yeah. So I don't know. I I, I kind of went a couple ways on this. So um, much like you guys were also having the trouble with, um, <clears throat> I'm not super familiar with like, say, 16 year old actresses these days. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I thought, OK, how do I Google this to not set off alarms? Uh, so I thought, what is the characteristic of Ven that is kind of the most uh that stands out the most for me and i guess it's her um attempt to always be smaller um mm -hmm. so she is you know not only small enough for kelsier to carry uh quite easily but also just any time that she's in a room even when she's in like the dead center of it open she's trying to make herself smaller so mm -hmm. i thought i definitely want a small actress in this so i i just uh googled small actresses um <laughs> <laughs> and then gave me quite a good list of short actresses that were like five two or shorter um which fair enough um there were actually good quite a, yeah. a good deal of them that were uh pretty awesome my second thought to this is um you know if we're gonna get this made we've got to get somebody that is hip and current today um and i actually am a basic bitch as well apparently um so i also went with jenna ortega for the current yeah! one <laughs> Um, I have seen her uh, pull off some very, uh, you know, um, dynamic roles, if you will. Um, I've seen her in both of the Scream movies. Uh, she's not my uh, favorite in that, but uh, she definitely has gotten wounded near mortally uh, in one of them. Uh, I think she could pull off definitely the getting wounded thing. Mm. Uh, also, I've seen her kind of go deep with a few of the other roles. I'm kind of blanking on them. Uh, I don't think it was uh, necessarily Adam's family, but uh, I, I know I've seen a depth to some of her characters. Um, so I don't know. I, I think she could pull it off and you could actually get some financing behind this if you could mm. get her involved. Yeah. But I do think that's kind of a uh, long shot. I would hope that they would cast an unknown and, uh, you know, just get somebody who has amazing chops. But I don't think that's realistic. So since I can't just say unknown, uh, I'll go basic <laughs> bitch. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think she would uh, kill it as the role. She I think would. she could be less attractive, but uh, definitely uh, she'd be kind of stretching it for that whole like uh, beginning part, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. where she's trying not to be noticed as a woman, where I, I think there are some other actresses who could kind of pull that off a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess that's kind of why in my timeless one, I was kind of thinking like who would pull that off a little bit more. And I was kind of stuck on one actress, uh, but I don't know that she could necessarily pull or they could necessarily pull off the rest of it. Um they definitely could do the beginning and they could definitely give the depth to the character and they have the chops. Um, so I was thinking Elliot page initially, but, mm. uh, I think they're definitely aged out and, uh, you know, uh, I don't think they're right for this. I so I kind of went they... with a slightly more yeah. feminine version of that. And I actually ended up with, since I think they're slightly aged out, just a slightly younger, uh, Sophia Lillis as well. Um, so I'm actually like very much on the same page with Dorcas, but uh, I don't know. Like if, if you'd seen Hard Candy, um, I, I think oh, yeah. uh, Elliot Page could have pulled that off at that time, but I don't think they could do the transformation where I think uh, Sophia could. Um, but I, I get uh, similar facial vibes from both of them. Uh, so I don't know. I Maybe... That was just stuck in my head and i had seen it kind of recently uh so i don't know I, I think both of mine are kind of basic again i'd really prefer somebody unknown for it uh I, wait i'm confused I think, uh, who, who did you pick for your timeless cast 
Uh, the same one that you did for Current. I think uh, ah. since she's supposed to be 16 and I think she's closer to early 20s, I, well, I would just age he, her down slightly. Here's the, here's the thing. With acting, it's not what your actual age is. It's what your believable age range is. Like I can still play for 26 sure. to 27 and I can play up to maybe 35, 36. So it's, it's the same way. For sure the actors that i picked if we're going uh, timeless though I, but timeless I we actually get a little bit cool okay so feel Lillis. and then i'm gonna put bemo's picture in as well doo -doo -doo -doo. and then we'll get to dachshund yeah sure uh doo -doo -doo -doo. i hear interference kate uh okay um, let me put this further away. The interference is gone. Okay. And then that's Anya Taylor Joy for Bemo's pick. Ah, uh, that works. Yeah. Also, kind of um, sensational current would work. Everybody loves that one. True. I think she'd be a better sham though. I can see that. She could, she uh, could do it, yeah. But I'll, I'll explain what I looked for in a sh in Shan. Sure. Okay, moving down to Dachshund. I wanted someone who was unnoticeable, someone with a fairly oh. forgettable face, uh, who uh, is very competent. Um, yeah. Competent but unnoticeable, and he needed to look uh, Irish. Um, so uh, I went with doo -doo 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 -doo, Kevin McKidd. Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess you, that, that's your... Where do uh, I know him from? He was in Rome, <laughs> and he was in Grey's Anatomy. Oh. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. He is not... Okay, despite what Grey... That was quite funny, is it? <laughs> but but <laughs> he isn't unforgettable in that, like, I would remember that face. That's what I mean. You know, I that don't you've remember seen him, him in a suit, but uh, yes, you know, you're that you're also, I definitely know that I've seen him. It took me a minute. You're they're not putting him up quite as fanciful in Rome, mm. no, and you're putting him up against Kelsier as well. So, yeah, uh, he's he's actually, oh, and he's 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 good to look at too. I, I'm fine. And then, oh gosh, who did I pick for my timeless cast? Uh, oh yeah, I think this was a, a basic pick, but he's just totally aged out by now. Um, come on, commit. You and McGregor. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I think he can do confident and forgettable at the same time. Yeah, he's he's just I guess he's too big for me. He's too too I don't know, prominent as an actor. <laughs> yeah, I I did mm. it was tough finding the line between your big A-list actors and your uh, slightly, uh, I don't know, just no, you know, they're, they're a list, they're act still good. actor, yeah, actors who can disappear in the role versus actors who are themselves. So, yes, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was that was something difficult. Okay, so I guess, Kate, uh, who you pick? for mine, um, I, I didn't really think too much about the forgettableness but the my thing was capable that's what i wanted um so mine was toby stevens uh toby stevens hmm. i'm not familiar with him i like i like the, yeah the, you you see a lot of the time the I, I wouldn't be have been able to tell you uh these people's names but the way that i did it is i went to shows that i'd watched and 
if if there was a character uh, a character there that I that reminded me of uh, or a character or an actor that was remind that could have worked, that's how I, I mostly picked um, the ones that I picked on my own. Hmm. So I, I wanted him to be likable and um, but and capable. Like just just this this the strength of his presence is quite a a thing for me. But then uh, I went a little bit in terms, terms of timelessness. Uh, he's a bit aged out, um, but I, I think it would be fun. Jerome Flynn. Ooh. As in Braun. He's a uh, Braun. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> I do like Jerome Flynn. He's very good. Mm. And hey, as as I guess that that works with your guys' uh, casting of Kelsia as well. They're, they're kind of like they work together really well. So yeah, they must be men. Kitty likes to look at. I'll, yeah, they're a lot of the. I think uh, there's there's a lot of men I like to look at. Yeah, and it's incredible that none of them are Henry Cavill. But I, 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 I did that on purpose. Yet. You cannot. No. It's too much. <laughs> okay. Um, Gray, who are your dachshunds? Your first one. So I was trying to think who really kind of melds into the roles and uh, who do I kind of not notice, like you're mentioning, but at the same time could hold their own against, uh, you know, any of our Kelsiers. Uh, where I fell on for the current one um i would like to see so i think this role may be beneath anyone i were to choose in this um but you know if hey, we're doing Dachshund is one of my favorite characters sir no he's a great Any character i just be. mean you know like oh, you could about you how get realistic the K-list actor in Dachshund? Yeah. no it's a dream cast. um yeah so, doesn't matter so i think i'd go with the. Uh, leave schreiber um i Ooh. just always dig him in whatever he's in he really melts into the role um i forgot like half the roles that he's in he just becomes that character to me um so i i think he would really do that justice uh i think he's definitely got like the chops to cover this i just don't know if this would be below him interesting i would have put him in like a uh, ham rather than a i also considered that. him i also considered him for dachshund I just don't know his name. I, I went know his a different <laughs> way with him. So, so I'm like, but, I, I, I only have an opinion once I see the picture. And I don't know. Maybe I kind of uh, put my uh, timeless casting guy in the same like mental file as uh, Liev Schreiber. But um, I, I chose a different actor who also kind of just like melds into the roles, really like melts away. I actually have no idea what he as a person sounds like i just know different characters he's played really that's a great um, so I, yeah um so that's the same kind of reason and they would have to also be able to hold their own against uh mm -hmm. you know either of our timeless or current casting um so i'd actually go with the like a carl urban for it um i would age him <laughs> down a little bit probably uh if we're going to do the timeless thing but uh, I don't know. I, I think to me, he also is, I, I wouldn't exactly go character like he is uh, A-list now, but I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I know him, but I've known a bunch of characters that he's played. I think he really would kind of uh, do justice oh, yeah. to the dogs. Yeah. Okay. So that's who it was. Um, yeah. He, he could, uh, he, he's likable. Um, he, he could be, oh my God, that he would work. I, I agree with that one. The, you know what, uh, in, guys, no, Bimo, uh, in terms of uh, race swapping, okay, because it does come into these sort of uh, discussions, um, I did think of certain, and, and say race swapping in that, race swapping for the sake of race swapping, that's all. Um, that, uh, well, I guess we'll get to it when we get to size it or say it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah we'll, I'm very we'll excited it. for my size mm -hmm. picks, but we'll yeah. get to him. We've got Breeze and Ham next. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted uh, a... How to word this? Mm. 
No, I, I, I'm just going to say it. Uh, Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Interesting. Current Stanley what? Tucci as uh, current Stanley right. Tucci. I, I think Breeze can be a bit uh, older. To be yeah, honest. he can be older. Okay. He doesn't have to be. Uh, Breeze is, is larger to me in my head, but but it works. I don't know it works. He would. It would work. Huh. Interesting. And then uh, it, but it, it's sort of funny because he's roughly the same age as my timeless cast. But I wanted my timeless cast actor to be on the younger side. Yeah. Um, oh, so yeah. so he, he he could do it, pull it off currently, but but <clears throat> yeah. But my timeless actor, I went. I would love to see a young Nathan Lane. Oh, uh, that would work. I th huh. I think I think they can both. Choice. I think they can both pull, it pull off, off I just did the not... cattiness. <sighs> Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I did not think of that at all. But Nathan Lane, uh, wow, I could see it though. I unironically considered Alfred Molina for Kelsier. Really? I could I, for, uh, for the timeless cast, obviously. Um, huh. I, I obviously he's an awesome didn't, actor. I love but... that dude. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think both Stanley Tucci and Nathan Lane would be able to get that. Certain and in. yeah, certain angle of it of the, the manipulation and the the cat, cattiness they they would do it justice I think and the fabulousness that they could put put across yes because so, he's fat. Uh, who <laughs> who are your pick who's your first pick Kita okay uh, another Game of Thrones you see as I've I've told you uh, a lot of the time I just needed to go through because I don't know people's names I don't know actors names what I did is I would went through shows that I watched and of course Game of Thrones is one of the sources that I had so um Conleth Hill in other words Ooh. Varys mm -hmm. absolutely with or without hair it works he would, and you know what? I think Varys. You you can't. You could see how I made that parallel with Varys, kind of manipulative person that would. He could. He can play that person that seems to know what's going on. He, he yeah. He he does it for me. With or without hair, but I guess that's how huh. you. Do, that's where you know him from. So, yeah. You, do you take him with hair or without? <laughs> so, like your preference. Um, You're I, casting him. You give him I, hair. I think hair. Yeah, hair. But that's where okay. you know him from. Yeah. And my yeah, time. He looks completely yeah. different with hair, too. I mean, I, I would want a Stanley shot. Tucci with hair as well. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I, I think Breeze needs current? hair. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Breeze does need hair. Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman, because of the age thing. Ooh. Who did I consider Philip Seymour Hoffman for? I considered him for I've some. I think yeah. it was Kamen. I considered him for Kamen. Yeah. He does work as a villain. He does. Mm -hmm. Jude Law for Breeze. Hmm. That's that's huh. oh that, that, that that's just how trip. yeah, that that I suppose it's just how you, you saw him in your head. Uh Breeze is a bit more wider and, and not not as attractive as Jude Law in my head. I think he could also Philip Seymour Hoffman could also do the cattiness or the, the and the fabulousness and just oh for sure the 100%. character characterness of it all. His Brant yeah. character from yeah. The Big Lebowski is very catty. Uh, he could definitely pull it off. Yeah, not a bad choice. <laughs> well, huh. we're, we're <laughs> not, not current Zac Efron. Come on. Yeah, I was gonna say current Jack <laughs> Zac Efron. Yeah, no. Huh. <laughs> um, okay, Gray. Who's your first choice? So when I read this, I had like one character in mind and it's just kind of stuck with me ever since. And that's just kind of how I pictured uh, this character. Uh, just, you know, fancy vest, the uh, dueling cane or whatever, but doesn't really use it. Uh, really more equipped with uh, quips, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and that kind of cattiness on top of the uh, kind of classiness, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um the only person that kind of I pictured is uh, Matt Berry. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with him, but uh, he's uh, from the IT crowd. Uh, 
go. Oh, or yeah, or this guy. Um, if you find yes. one of them where he's in a vest, like that to me is just Breeze. Um, <laughs> I love he's so dude. funny. Um, oh, I got the perfect yeah. picture. Yeah, I hope. Um, that's I just, that, that's yeah, you just. He's just uh, such a great job at playing like a blowhard character. To me, that's just like what I picture. Oh, I, I picture him, yes. you know. It's perfect, yeah. He, and the, the voices that, that he does. He's, he's actually, while I was doing the casting, he, he acts in, he, he voices uh, the pig in Disenchantment. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, he, I think that dude great. is just awesome. He's a great actor. Yes. And for um, your time, so he's who I would choose as a current <laughs> one. Um, for timeless, um, I did actually go with uh, one of the uh, Bemos, uh, Alfred Molina pick for Breeze was actually my uh, timeless one. Um, I think I'd want him aged down just a little tiny bit, but um, the way that I see him is kind of the counter to him. Uh, so I, I would want him to be, you know, like a little bit more stocky, not like a mm -hmm. fighter type or anything like that. Yeah. Um, uh, I think Alfred Molina could really pull off the gravitas and, uh, you know, I, I think he could make you want to do stuff for him. So, uh, I don't know. I, I think that's a good choice, uh, that BMO had. And, uh, I swear I had it before he put it in chat, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'd go Molina. Yeah, I would is. choose Molina with a beard, but uh, yeah, maybe aged up a little bit from there, but aged down from where he is currently. Mm. But that picture will do. I, I think people know Alfred Molina. That dude could definitely pull off the role. Oh yeah. You see, I, I know I know faces, but I do not know names. So, uh, so Ham was w who is one of my favorite characters. Was the one that I was probably most excited to cast, uh, mm -hmm. and. Ooh. Uh, one of the Kelsiers, one of my earliest Kelsier picks that I decided against because I thought he was too intense for Kelsier uh, was, I'm so totally br uh, blanking on the name right now, uh, Wentworth Miller, right? Uh, and the reason I wanted Wentworth Miller as Kelsier, uh, oh. even though I didn't go with him, is because I wanted Dominic Purcell as ham um but when when i moved away from wentworth miller as kelsier because i just i didn't i ultimately didn't want that i had to move dominic purcell over to ham so I yeah think he's a good one yeah. i think he's one oh, he I brought, he him. brought yeah. up when we initially spoke yes about it yeah yeah he's he made he made it in yeah, and I'm very glad for that. Yeah, oh, that's a good uh, one. So he's big, he's bulky, and if you're familiar with Prison Break, you know that he mm -hmm. can do that um, sort of philosophical, uh, intense bit behind, beside him. And he can do mm -hmm. funny uh, if you are a fond of the Arrowverse. Um, hmm. And then for... My next pick for the Timeless cast, I wanted someone who you wouldn't expect to be the philosopher. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I went with, uh, where is he? Nope, nope, nope. May he rest in peace. Ray Stevenson. Ooh, that works. That would be good. Yeah. Big, tall, hulking, very good <laughs> at playing, very good at playing the big uh, Titus Pullo. Uh, you you, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why I'm laughing now. Okay. Who did you pick? Uh, okay. So uh, also because I absolutely love him, it was very difficult to say to not to just go, oh, just, just make him Henry, Henry Cavill, okay? We could ugly him out a little. <laughs> uh, we could, because we, he's just big and, and, and strong and, and I love him, okay? But I was like, you know what? It's fine. Let's tone it down, okay? Let's relax. Let's go a bit more unconventional in terms of the way we are looking at, we're talking about men Ch Chinsu likes to look at. Um, 
Tom Hardy. Okay, it's because I just love mm. Tom Hardy and and Tom Hardy can do anything. He can do anything. So I'm just like he would fit. Okay, he would do it. So um, also it, it's a bit of a perv version. Like I'm like perv perv version. Very well done. Um, yeah, it was because it wasn't Henry Cavill. I was like fine. That's my other my other fantasy is Tom Hardy. So there you go. I considered Tom Hardy for someone, and I don't remember who right now might have been one of the inquisitors uh yeah he, he could do one. that too he could do that too tom hardy's so uh, good he's just good at stuff he could do anything um I, you could put him as kelsey if you really wanted to and he would find out you know I, i'm i'm a i love tom hardy he's my favorite actor okay uh and and i know i'm that that's another thing I was so insecure about is like I know you guys know film better than me, but I was just like, listen, this this is go with you know you guys know me, you know that I'm not uh, I'm not that knowledgeable, and this is what my brain wants. So okay, then after this, this was an age thing because I don't know we would have to like de age him a little. Uh, I, uh, I should know how to say his name because it's quite Italian, Joe Ma Manganello. I, oh yeah, I could totally yeah. see that. Yeah. I totally didn't think about Joe Manganiello, but that dude is awesome. Uh, I considered him as well uh, for Ham, so that's a fantastic pick. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very that, fond of him. That's a shout out, shout out to Gordon because um, I, I was I had to describe the character to him, and then he would give me an, a suggestion, and this one was perfect. I thought it was just Manganiello. Manganiello, was Manganiello, yeah. No, I thought Manganiello. he was yeah. a bit too young and too attractive, personally. But uh, Too attractive? Come no, I think he's actually, he's actually, I think he's, he's aged out, even. He's a bit, you would, he's a bit too old now. Yeah. So I, I, I should say, I'm assuming most of the crew are in, like, the 35 to 45 range. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's a very muscular yeah. man oh yeah and he's so uh i think he's uh he's he's in Big true blood D &D. he's in true yeah. blood and so. the uh, magic mike movies and he's yeah. also down to earth he's a great guy he, wait yeah. you, that's the thing so you want that you want that same thing and uh, there's also why i laugh because tom hardy is not sorry tom hardy not tom hottie uh he, <laughs> he is no we know he, who you meant He's Tom Hardy is short. That's what also why I laugh when when uh, Dorcas was like tall, hulking, whatever. Tom Hardy is relatively short, but he, they, <laughs> they make him. You can make him look tall. It's fine. Um, I forgot to mention from the start. All of the actors we're picking for these, uh, they are going to have to fight in a death match to win the role at the end. Of the <laughs> oh shit! Well, <laughs> deal. Uh, then I'm going to put the money on my choice. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I don't Which... know. Actually, uh, the timeless one may uh, give mine a run for his money. Uh, so I decided to go with like some stunt casting, I guess. Uh, you know, again, we got to get this movie made. So we have to have somebody kind of bigger, hotter now. Uh, you know, somebody that can get uh, people moving towards this movie. Um, I also wanted to think of the exact opposite of uh, Matt Berry. And so to me that would be very big uh i know part of the description is uh his arms are very muscled but not overly i can't remember exactly how they phrase that so i might have gone a little bit over with this but uh you know if we're doing the uh amazon version of this we may already have an in so it just makes sense to to reach out to alan richson uh you know reacher on this um mm -hmm. i don't know why i just always thought of a super jack dude as ham uh, I yeah. guess when I'm trying to think of like who is the guy who's like allergic to sleeves, it, it might be Alan Richardson. <laughs> so uh, that's who I'd go for my current casting with it. But yeah, um, huge. Yeah, yeah, he might be he a little bit good. too big for this. But uh, the yeah, other thing I is, I could uh, definitely. I mean, Ninja physically Ninja too big. Ninja like he doesn't Turtles. quite fit the description of it. 
Yes, he was a Ninja Turtle. Uh, you know, one of the better ones. Yeah, maybe uh, just you take him <laughs> off the roids for a bit and he'll feel Yeah, just down. a little bit. No, it's perfectly natural to put on 30 pounds of muscle mm -hmm. in like two months. Like, there's yeah. nothing enhanced there was about no that. He just, he just um, it was his testosterone or whatever. <laughs> so I'd be thinking of uh, something more like, I guess, I think it was like Blue Mountain State right before he started. Um, hmm perhaps being enhanced um even then he was kind of jacked but nothing he is now uh but i guess this is current and you know we want to we want to get people in the theaters so uh yeah i'll go with him now mm -hmm. um for my timeless uh I, I think this person uh i so i don't know i guess i'm still thinking like who would be kind of allergic to sleeves um you know i i couldn't think of many i, I was thinking is there someone maybe slightly smaller than uh you know alan richson and <laughs> there are uh, many people <laughs> uh, yeah. but I, I just went slightly smaller so i actually okay. would have gone with like uh henry cavill for uh my hey, yeah. on the list. Oh, he's on henry. the list i'm so uh, glad he could pull Somebody off any be. role but uh like looking at you know if i'm guy. thinking like some super buff dude who you know probably shouldn't be wearing sleeves uh, he's on the list yeah and and look you could ugly him down a little you know, I think so. uh, and you oh, you, you would just fall in love with him. And I think that 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 works as well, just because you just we love him. Yeah. Oh, just such a OK, it's you. I, don't, but I think any of those could do the Bonachone. humor and yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I think they could play off of Breeze very well. And I think you could have a yeah. fun dynamic with like pretty much any of those choices. I I think the only one I haven't seen do comedy is uh uh the timeless choice by dorcas but i don't put that past him like that dude is just amazing mm. i'm a fan of him so unironically if i were to cast myself in mistborn i think i would be edin no oh, so you're gonna cast yourself. No. wow i didn't realize we could do that no, I, I'm not actually oh. casting myself here. <laughs> um, I mean, it is I, current, but no, never. But no, it, were I fortunate enough to be able to audition for it, I suspect my agents would be submitting me for Yedin uh, of all of the characters. Uh, with that said, uh, I wanted someone who uh, is totally overlookable uh, in a different way than Doxon is. I wanted someone who, like, cannot control a room, is totally awkward, uh, mm -hmm. and I went with Johnny Galecki. Ooh. Oh. Interesting choice. Oh, that's an interesting huh. one. Uh, he's wider than than I had in mind, but that uh, that makes sense. I could see that happening. Yeah, I, I was quite happy with that choice. Uh, and I think he's roughly in the right age range. And mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he's uh, from the Big Bang Theory. Um, uh, what what yes, was the... Yes, and Roseanne. And Roseanne. Uh, and then for my timeless pick, uh, same vibes. Also, Brandon has said that he would want, an, uh, in an adaptation, he wouldn't want Dachshund and Ham to be with he would want uh so no henry for ham no yeah um, i know he definitely said ham i didn't hear that he also oh, he, switched well, but, brandon said that so he wanted when, when chris he has been thrown out a lot for ham i don't it like be the agenda worst. swaps man what why brandon listen honey sweetie baby child you you wrote them in a certain way why why do you need them to be gender swapped uh-uh get out of I, here Look, it, this was if, one of his first series. If, if you make Ham and or Breeze a woman, you are introducing a motherly influence for uh -huh. Vin into the crew. And I think that would tremendously change the dynamics of Vin's development. Sure. Uh, it would and, be interesting, uh, but uh, it's not something I would personally be excited for. But yeah. it would be interesting. It's, no, 
I, 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 I'll fight him for it. Let's go. <laughs> um, so uh, I, my timeless actor was again aged out, but I think he's got the same vibes as Johnny Galecki. Uh, I would go with David Schwimmer. Oh, that works. <laughs> oh, that's you cute. See the Schwimmer yeah. Rebellion. Uh, <laughs> you would you would totally understand why things just didn't work with him at the helm. Okay, that <laughs> he wasn't horrible in Band of Brothers. I could definitely uh, see him being a little less Ross and a little bit more. Well, he uh, starts off as Ross yeah. and ends up in Band of Brothers once things start rolling. Yeah, there you go. It works. He's a he's actually really a really good actor. That that's not. Don't think of him as just the guy from Friends. Um, okay, for okay. me, mine, uh, this was another uh, Gordon assist because um, he, I think, he, I think he, I don't know where this, this, oh, it was in from Breaking Bad. Um, and when I saw him, I was like, that works. Uh, Charles Baker, he is Skinny Pete. Charles Baker. Oh, oh, I did not recognize him by Charles Baker. Okay, mm -hmm. I could see that. Now do a Brit tube cast. Yeah, you can see it because of the skinniness. And the like the way I described him to Gordon was like, no, we need someone that's that can be pathetic. And he's like, oh, skinny Pete. Charles Baker looking for a picture. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Where are you? That'll have to do. Close, you open, move. Yeah. I, that's, wow. it just I don't for me. think I've it, seen him non skinny peated. That totally works yeah. a lot better than I was picturing. It's 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 because huh. of how I pictured his body. That that really is his his facial structure. That really looks like him in my head. Um hmm. so we, when when Gordon threw out one of those, uh, and and it just stuck because of the way that they look in my head. That was it. Um, okay, so the then the timeless one because of he's kind of aged out of it now. I think it's I don't know how you guys say it's Steve Buscemi. 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 Oh yeah. He does he does pathetic very well. A uh, young Steve Buscemi. Okay, this pick will do. Just within the age range, whatever. Give yeah. Not current hmm. Steve Buscemi. Yeah, he would be a he would make it. What a headshot. <laughs> what a what a hot throb. Oh yeah. I love me some Buscemi. <laughs> and Gray. Yeah, so um I'll send you the name of this one because I know I did not remember his name. Um, so I saw this dude in a film and it, he really seemed to play this powerful character. I'd seen him in a couple other things, but um, I don't know. It, it's kind of who I was picturing when I was reading it, like somebody that could lead a rebellion that would have an intensity behind them, but they're not necessarily like intimidating. I'm not thinking somebody who's oh, this you know, like specifically, um, you know, mm. super physically imposing or anything like that. Um, so when I saw the sound of metal, um, just, uh, the guy in it, Rez Osmed, uh, Ahmed, excuse me. Uh, he just really kind of, uh, showed me that he can really carry some heavy weights and, uh, really kind of take that, uh, I don't know that, uh, next level, if you will. Um, I don't know. Previously I'd seen him in like a bunch of different things and it just didn't have like that emotional weight. He didn't go on like this journey. Um, I think I could see people looking behind this guy as a leader. Um, especially after that performance. Um, but yeah, I think he can also play uh, pathetic. He was also in uh, Four Lions, which was pretty awesome. Uh, um, I, I could definitely uh, see him kind of being that Eden go, type of character. Go, yeah, he can go on a journey. I think, I think that, so. that one's a good one, yeah. I love it. And if I was going to go timeless, um, there's this other dude. Um, so I've seen him in a bunch of things, and he always kind of... Um, sinks into the back into like these roles i uh never really like sought out his name or anything like that and then uh recently i saw him in well not recently like within the last decade um Ooh. i guess he's probably most known for um 
like uh outlander or uh <laughs> he was also it, in uh he's Casino in rome Royale. too uh yes he is um he's kind of one of those guys that just like sinks into the back so i would want to mm, age him down works. a little bit i think he is aged out currently but um I don't know. I've just seen him do a bunch of different accents and he just always feels like authentic. Again, I, I feel like he is somebody who could lead a rebellion. I could see people wanting to be behind him. Uh, but yeah, I'd have to age him back a little bit. But uh, I, I don't know. Wasn't I, I he also in Game of Thrones? The same, like same sort of. Yeah, he was in Game of Thrones. Uh, well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, he, he, he fits that with his Game of Thrones co uh, character. That works. Like there is some sort of potential in there, but it also Hold can on. be so annoying. I have to find yes a clip from a Glidus video. Give me a second. <laughs> Amongst yourselves, so I don't know. I, I could uh, I could see him being the character, but uh, I do like your guys' castings a little bit more. Um, I'm not feeling quite as uh, confident with mine on both of these, but uh, I think. I don't know. I hadn't seen him as like a Schwimmer Galecki kind, but now that you say that, like, okay, I could get behind that. I, I think we are very uh, uh, influenced by, well, I know that I was influenced by um, uh, what's it, Dorcas's voice of Yedin, the very uh, Oh, he's geez. Yeah. yeah. Like that. <laughs> Uh, but but the, so you but we can see he is going on into this more confident thing. So I like your picks because they can go both into this, into the the insecure and the competent. That they they're both there. I suppose Skinny Pete looks like the kind of guy that could do that, and and Buscemi could do that as well. I think he, he could. can he can because oh, considering for sure. could. considering what he was like in Sopranos, uh, it it makes sense to me. He he can be both pathetic and and uh formidable at the same time it's really weird and he's just he's also just a, a good actor uh yeah agreed sorry i just so went far. completely silent there uh yeah. <laughs> the Dead air. Changed, we're, we're... so i thought we were gonna have a presentation uh yeah, yeah. i'm looking for it um i i agree and uh I, I don't know. I really could see like a young Buscemi doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. He definitely can bring the intensity, and I know mm -hmm. he could uh, go on that journey. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It. it I. I got to be honest. I didn't like fully picture this character. I had to kind of read the summary like, of him yeah. again. Can you hear this? No. No. It did not share the audio. Give me a moment. Yeah share the audio uh you've shared your screen maybe yeah, yeah look i don't do tab. this often it's okay i think you gotta share, share tab, tab yeah. or whatever which is it seems counterintuitive but that's the one mm. that shares the audio What is this? Is, uh, are uh, you showing us, my... us the the Game of Thrones guy? Yes. You know what? You can send me the link, and then I'll I'll present it. Even better. Yeah. Kita to the rescue. <laughs> uh, opening a new tab, please. Thank you. Uh, and I shall present. There's a little bit of spicy language in there, in here. Oh no. Uh, there we go. So you're just going to have to add. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, put this a bit louder. Oh, oh no, no, no. Don't. He reckons this will be easier go. to sort out if we put someone in charge. And Big E has an idea. I'll gather up my past. And make some sense at last. <laughs> you see, you. Lords and ladies. Sit down. 
<laughs> sit down. Please sit. <laughs> Let him finish. Sansa, get off my fucking list and please forget you were ever on it. This is no <laughs> way to talk to your peers, let alone your elders, let alone your own family. Yeah, you think so you're the only one who suffered through these wars? Edmure Tully was imprisoned for over four yeah, that's years. True. He spent one night with his wife before your brother's ineptitude ripped away the one thing that had made him smile oh. since his father's tragic death. He didn't meet his son until the boy was four years old. He has been tossed around like a bag oh. of meat simply because he refused to fight evil with he, evil. In he's Edmure's better than Bran. moments, he stood for what his father raised him to believe yep. in family <laughs> duty honor meanwhile you're gallivanting around leaving a lone wolf to die without the pack and leaving winterfell starkless and you have the audacity to command him to sit is he a bit of a doofus sure maybe honestly you don't know him well enough to make that call but even if he is doesn't the man at least deserve to speak his mind and make his case hasn't he earned that what else do you need him to go through fuck you sansa stark that's fuck true you yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Don't vote for kings. Um, I don't know. That's kind of my picture for a Eden time. But, uh, you know, it we works. can cast Dorcas instead. I think it'll work. <laughs> Thank you for letting me share that. Yeah, no, um, I'm glad you did. And and you know what? Again, Brad? Okay. I, I, I really, uh-uh. <laughs> No, we, that's a that's a separate stream. I, I'll go. I'll go off. Okay, <laughs> okay. and that'll bring us to clubs. <clears throat> nice. So, I had my timeless actor uh, <laughs> in both my timeless and my current cast, but because mm -hmm. uh, just could the same guy twice. I chose oh, sorry, the same person. guy, same person twice. Uh, but then I, I went back and reread the description and it basically said, yeah, he's elderly, but not so elderly that he's like stooped. He's still reasonably strong uh, mm -hmm. and tall. So I had to switch. Uh, so I went with oh. Ian Glenn, who I think can pull off the... Oh. Though he looks like a wo a woodworker, like he could be. I could see him as a carpenter. A carpenter, and and he's old enough to, I think, pull it off. And he's got that grumpy intensity and like that weathered, knotted face that yeah, Brandon Sanderson describes. Uh, he's. Uh, I think I would have to age him much more. <laughs> for me, the way my he's head in his head is he's in his sixties, but. Uh, I, I would not have well, said so. It off. Wow. Uh, but then, and I also have to keep in mind, I assume that not very many Ska make it into like super old age. Um, mm. But my timeless cast was, oh, come on, commit. David Bradley. Basic pick, I think. Ooh. But, yeah, I could definitely see that. Uh, he, he definitely. He's he currently. He's in his eighties, so I would want to make him young enough that he's still. But I think he's fantastic. Kite, who who's your clubs? Sorry, I had to go and get my Cinnabon. Okay. Um... <laughs> Mine is Jonathan <laughs> Banks because of the oldness Ooh, but toughness. Oh, nice. Yeah. Fantastic. I I'm shocked I didn't think of that one. A lot of the a lot of that it does happen when, when, when other people are casting. You're like, oh that makes sense. It's just that the suggestion never came across. That's all. Um, but this was just me trying to think of old but tough. Um I I, I had him listed and then then I needed Gordon's help, and then he confirmed it for me. So I was like, yeah, Jonathan. Excellent. I kind of want to steal your casting. Yeah, he could He's definitely like, pull off that kind of uh, 
you know, uh, you're not sure if he hates you, if he's uh, yeah, just angry at everything. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the kind of character. And, he, and he's got skills that playing. you just could not imagine, but you're just you're just <laughs> like, don't mess with him, okay? He's he looks old, but don't mess with him, okay? Um, then timeless would be because Tommy Lee Jones is just really Ooh. Oh. but uh, Tommy Lee Jones, yeah, because you can also do that tough as nails. Uh, I think uh, what Gordon referenced when I was trying to explain, when I explained the character to him, what he looked, I think it was No no Country for Old Men or something like that. One of those movies, he, that's what, what he brought him to mind. Excellent pick. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with the kind of like twisted, weathered face. I forget mm -hmm. what that phrase was. Yeah, but... yeah like gnarled. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that works out. Because he's a carpenter, and I associated mm. that like the the twisted gnarled thing. Wood, yeah. Wood, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Jonathan Banks isn't gnarled and twisted as much as the like our the my timeless and your um your current, but yeah, it still works because that is toughness. But yeah, gnarled, you got you got Tommy Lee. Excellent. And Gray. Yeah. So <laughs> when I'm trying to think of like. A tough old man. Um, I guess I do see somebody kind of in the, I, I don't know, I like file actors into weird categories in my mind, but he would be in the Jonathan Banks kind of category. Uh, but I wanted somebody who seemed like a little bit more rough and tumble, like perhaps, uh, you know, had worked with their hands a little bit more. Um, so it kind of, and also you want that really standoffish, not sure if they like you, if they can trust you, if you can trust them, um, just who always plays that sort of ambiguous, uh, maybe not a bad guy, but definitely an asshole. Um, and then he has gone on to like really creepy roles as well. He could really do a huge intensity. Um, I would actually go with Michael Rooker for, uh, now's, uh, the current casting in there. Um, I think I could really see, and well, there's this uh, one picture on, I think it was like the wiki or whatever. It looks totally like Rooker with uh, some mutton chops. Like, I, I really think he could pull it off, but uh, perhaps that's just me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I could see him as a clubs. I just Googled Michael Rooker with mutton chops and I don't. Think I, see it. <laughs> I don't know if that exists, uh, but sorry, it was a picture of clubs. Uh, it was like an illustration. Oh. It, just, uh, it really gave me Michael Rooker vibes. But uh, yeah, obviously he would need some mutton chops. Uh, but I don't know. I, I could see him as a, a withered woodworker who, uh, you know, he's kind of very much an asshole, but standoffish. Um, I, I don't know. He's kind of what I uh, see this character as, but uh I don't know. My uh, timeless casting is a little strange. Uh, perhaps I went a different direction with it, but if I'm thinking of, again, like a tough old man, um, I don't know. He has a certain intensity. He may be too intense for this, but uh, yeah, I, I think if I could cast anyone, uh, I don't know, a Willem Dafoe clubs might be really interesting. Uh, perhaps uh, he would take up too much, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I think yeah, I'd like to see that. Oh, he, I would love that. I love Willem Dafoe, and he and he's got the gnarledness, the 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 lines. That's in the what face. I'm thinking. It works. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, he looks kind of weird in that picture, but yes, uh, <laughs> Willem Dafoe. Look, I'm trying to keep things moving at a quick pace. Considering, okay, sorry, um, I'll stop picking. Considering, uh, oh. not. Nasus, Nasans. No, I mean with um, the pictures. You're speaking with uh, Fully Gray. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Mark Hamill has got too much of a kind face. I'm sorry. I agree. Mm. Too soft. Respectfully, Ness. Okay, so Sazed was an interesting mm -hmm. thing for me, and I'll go through why. Uh, I think because of the uh, the description of the gauges uh, and being unnaturally tall, my mm -hmm. initial like image that or the 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 character that I initially thought of uh, was Dalsim from Street Fighters. Uh, yeah, I can reason. totally see that. Uh, and 
I, I never quite got that out of my mind. And I wanted someone who uh, could have that grandfatherly. If Kelsier's the father, Sazed is the grandfather. Um, so I wanted someone that I think could do that. And I went with Naveen Andrews. Mm. He, uh, he was in Lost. And mo most recently, oh, he that's was. Where I know from. Uh, most recently, he was in that. Um, the I think it's called the Dropout. Uh, in I which he him. played. Well, I know of him. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think he can do it. Uh, the interesting thing for me with Sawzed, though, uh, is from back when we were looking at the fan castings. Uh, I think virtually every single person was recommending an African American, uh, or, or rather than uh, can't cast Sazed as too old. He needs uh, to be in a lot of movies. <laughs> Definitely a concern. Um, anyway, uh, so it. it I, I went back and looked at the description. It doesn't specifically say he's black, but mm -hmm. uh, I I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, change that uh, if that's the if that was what Brandon Sanderson had intended. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought someone who could pull off the intensity uh, and the grandfatherliness of it. If I can find him in my thing, uh, I was thinking. Giancarlo Esposito. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh, that would be awesome. Mm. I think he can have that quiet stoicism, but stoic in a way that is different from Kelsier's. He could probably, because he's a good actor, he could also bring in the softness. There is some sort of softness, but he's... Because um, he does have this does have this care about him, but also he's he's severe. It's weird. He's he's. I think that's, that's better than the... The first one. Sazed isn't canonically black. He's closer to Indian. Okay, so my initial take was... Mm. Thank you, William. Mm. Mr. Richards. Oh! Um, na yeah, okay. So, so Nas, that is exactly my, my pick to go into mine for Sazed, Lance Reddick. And I think the reason it has nothing to do with, oh, it's, he's black. It's just the sharpness of his face worked for me. The length of his face. And the severity that he can portray, I really liked it. It, it and the voice that he could do—that's what brought me to it. Excellent. No, we're not keeping the budget in mind. This is fan casting. <laughs> <laughs> like I think, Look, I think Dre was very realistic. Yeah. Eventually, we can do. We can give ourselves a budget, and we will look at how much these actors charge. No, and... they they will do it for free. Um, I, I like that you actually got him smiling because the, the severity is actually what I got. Like the, the first look that you, his face looked much rounder there, but his, his the sharpness of his face is what attracted me to him. Oh yes, Lance Reddick. Oh, you may away. have a point. So oh, yeah. unfortunately, yes. just like oh, last so that year. should you put that in my time. Oh well, then that doesn't work. He did, but <laughs> sorry, uh, because my because then my timeless is Ben Kingsley. I like Ben Kingsley. I mean, he's still alive. Yeah, but it's I think way too. We could too, switch him, and it would work. If we just, if we just de age yeah. him, just AI him, Ben, Kins ben Kingsley. If uh, also, I think it would work. Yeah, talk, talking about the race of it. Um, what 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 is um, interesting and, and difficult about this part is there is a description Why? of of Sazed's race as. Uh, subjugated and like easily subjugated and all of that that we've just currently actually we've just gone over it um I, I, and i just know that would that would be oh, it, it would it would cause shit but um at the same time i um i don't care so um people would have to get over it that's all um uh, it actually it made me irritated that I had to consider these things. Um, so luckily, I am not a casting director. <laughs> yeah, 
that would work. I think maybe it's the earlobes in that picture. I think it'll work. And, I mean, you can give boldness. fake gauges to anybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you get two timeless for this one. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, you, you know what? You, I think Kingsley would work. As Kingsley's the alive, yes? Put him on the left. We'll reach out. I don't know if the budget <laughs> will allow it, but we'll reach out. Okay. Hold on. I'm moving him around. Listen, I just, I, I, I actually imagine that the, the bit from The Sopranos, where we try and get King, Kingsley, and he's like, oh, God, what the fuck? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if like any of our cast would work with that 200 million budget, especially with like all the sets and <laughs> everything they'd have to do. So I, I hope they'd go with some unknowns. Uh, that would be my dream casting, but, but nobody wants unknowns. to see unknowns. For so we can't there. cast the unknowns, yeah. yeah. They're literally unknown. So, I don't know. When I read this, I had kind of uh, a character in mind, an, an actor in mind. But um, I think they kind of aged out. So, I don't know. I was kind of thinking, uh, you know, somebody with uh, essentially that same feeling that I get from them. And I was thinking of a second actor who I remember from, like, everything from, like, Gladiator to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy to, like rebel moon um and i get like kind of a grandfatherly figure from this guy too um i don't know i i kind of saw it as uh jim and hansu um he oh he really stands out in like almost anything that he's in uh but he does kind of blend into like these characters um i just think he could really pull off a says like really well um i don't know to me that's just kind of who i'm picturing uh, aside from the other actor who I think aged out of it just barely. Well, that's quite a face right there. Well, <laughs> Ben Kingsley is in front of him. Um, so, yeah, oh, I don't know. I, I think you'd recognize him from, like, almost everything that he's ever done. He really stands out. He's brilliant. Um, that's kind of that says that character to I me. like him. Yeah. And, and, um, and then... Yeah, you so like him. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Please go right ahead. No, no, no. That I was just going to basically yeah, just gush, sure. gush more. <laughs> yeah i i love that dude in like everything he's been in uh i kind of forget how many things he's in just because he really does blend into each role but that dude's awesome Ooh. uh yeah huge fan of that guy um and then my timeless one um i don't know i guess this is the character that i was like picturing when i read it initially um i was thinking uh the messenger from 300 um and that's uh peter mensa uh, here, let me put that in there since I don't know if you know how to spell that. that. It's kind Z of a or... Interesting name. Uh, oh, and Mensa, S A H. Yeah. Uh, but that dude is awesome. He also really stands out in everything. Um, I definitely remember him from like Jason X and uh, yeah, Spartacus and a whole bunch of other. Uh, he's an avatar, but he is one of the uh, whatever you call them. I forget the creature's name, Navi or whatever. Um, uh, so, yeah, that dude really kind of stands out to me. And that's kind of that Seizad character that I had pictured in my head. But uh, I think he is aged out just a little bit for it. So I would bring him down a few years. So I guess he'd be my timeless one. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Nice. Ooh, that would be awesome. And then that brings us to Lesterborns. And, again, I ran into the Vin problem where I don't know younger actors. But... Mm -hmm. I do love me some Cobra Kai. So Gianni DiCenzo or DiCenzo. Oh, that works. Ooh. Uh, so I, he, he's got that dorky awkwardness. I think he could play the crush on Vin exceptionally mm -hmm. well. Um, yeah. And then the, this actor aged out and I did end up fitting him into a different role. Uh, but you know, would that we could have had this actor as Lesterborns, uh, Skylar Gasondo. Oh, he works. <laughs> oh, that kid. Oh, and, and I, think I did not could, recognize his name, but he could all do right. the, the comedy of Lesterborns pretty well, I think. Lesterborns. We need Hawk for spook. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
Okay. Uh, the, the mine is the guy in chat. I don't care. Gilchrist. Uh, so Ooh. Shall oh, Timothy, oh, everybody uh, likes We'd spend all of that yeah. uh, 200 million. Yeah, on him. But, uh, yeah. He's too fabulous. It would be great. I think no, Timothy. Oh, yeah. yeah, this guy from Atypical, yeah? Mm. Okay, that's not a bad. Uh, yeah. He, it look, he is, he, well, that's actually quite a very, quite a nice picture of him. It really um, takes away the, but the awkwardness, but he does awkward very well. He was in, um, oh God, there was a few shows. We, that we already know about Spook, fortunately. I, did that episode air yet? No, I don't think it has. Uh, I think it's this okay. weekend. Okay, oh. cool. Yeah, we already know about him changing his Don't worry about spoon. it. Oh, yeah, yeah that is. It is. Um... Okay, so this one's timeless because we would need him to be uh, much younger. Um, ADK hmm. Thomas, this guy. I'm from oh, wow. I from, did from not American think Pie. about him at all. Because I was just yeah. like, who, huh. do, who do we get? Like, who can we get really awkward? Uh, American Pie wise, it, that's it. That's where you go. Nice. And I think you would do the, the comedy pretty well. That is not me typing. But who, okay, so Gray, who is your spook? Okay, um, so here, let me put it in the chat. Um, so I don't know, maybe I was stuck with, uh, because of my timeless casting for uh, Vin, I don't know, maybe that's what kind of tipped me off, but this dude played uh, Young Quill in Guardians of the Galaxy, he was an It, and he is also an I'm Not Okay With This. Um, so uh, his name is Wyatt Olaf. Um, I don't know. I think he could deal with the journey that this character has to go on. Um, I could definitely see Ooh. him uh, becoming yeah, more like of a... Yeah, I could uh, definitely see him kind of growing. And uh, I think he would... Uh, he has worked well with uh, Sophia Lillis before. Mm. Uh, but I guess, uh, he, I guess Jenna Ortega would be my uh, casting for this. So I don't know. I, I think he could work off of her. But um, yeah, he's uh, he's an interesting actor. I think he could take on a uh, heavy load if he needs to. Yeah, um, all of those it yeah. characters, those it actors, those uh, recent it actors were really good. Yeah, and then uh, my timeless one. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've uh, seen this dude since he was a kid. Um, I think if we're going timeless, I could get a younger version of him into uh by the time that this ends i think uh what he has done as a human being uh would fit mm. this character's uh kind of growth as well oh, he'd um, so i i think so so I, I would go with nicholas holt on this uh, <laughs> a little bit uh okay. past uh about a boy uh but you know a very young man or a teen and then he becomes a young man um i could definitely see himself. him getting a little bit bigger yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, like the actual actor has. Um, I definitely don't see him as that like scrawny kid anymore. But um I, I don't oh, know. I, I think good. he could really work well and he could oh, definitely handle the uh the you know uh need for this character. Um I, I think that would be awesome if I could do a timeless one. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for other characters, you have no idea. Yeah, Nicholas Holt is great. Okay, Lord Renault. So my initial take, the obvious answer seemed to me to be Donald Sutherland. Uh, but oh, it didn't seem obvious to me, but that's awesome. Wow. But ultimately, I think now he is a bit too old. Like he's like in his mid 80s. He, he might almost be 90, actually. So 
I, I, I did want to go again with someone in their 60s or maybe 70s. Um, so ultimately, I, I wanted someone who could have that intensity. Again, God, all of these characters are so intense. Mm -hmm. I went with Pierce Brosnan. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, I yeah. didn't go that route, but hmm. And I could definitely see him pulling off that uh, very dignified uh, character. Huh. That That is uh, kind of making me change my ideas. <laughs> huh. And then, oh gosh, who did I pick for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, one of the best actors ever, if I recall. Hold on. I want to double check because of the way I did this. Lord, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Obvious. Obviously, if you can get Christopher Lee, you get Christopher Lee. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if he will accept, we'll take him in any role. <laughs> Everything is benefited by Christopher Lee. Uh, doo -doo -doo. May he rest in peace. Uh, Kitty, who are your choices for Renault? Hey. Um, for the gravitas, the intensity old man thing, Brian Cox from, uh, you Ooh, would probably, everybody knows that would be from, awesome from, uh, succession from everything. Nice. <laughs> Again, picked from shows I've seen. Well, is that not how we're doing the bulk of this casting? Oh, we did he die? Something. Did he die, William? Oh, did he die? Uh -huh. When did he die? I'm really not doing well, am I? I, <laughs> no, I, 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 I do I, not remember. Um, I just I just looked at his I age and he was 60-something. Oh, no, he's 77. Yeah, it looks like he... He's alive. Yeah. Uh, well, good for him. Uh, he's always <laughs> awesome in everything that I see him in. <laughs> the, 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 the rumors of his death have been vastly... <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And, and who's your timeless pick, then? My timeless is you, Anthony Hopkins. Why not? Uh, because oh, why not? Nice. You know? Some way, just put him in. Okay, Anthony Hopper. Yeah, every gotta love that guy. Okay, well, you just made Christopher Lee. Okay, yeah. I like him, but I I gotta say I I think he might be a bit too. <clears throat> Too likable for Renault. Renault, I think, needs to be a bit more standoffish. I might fight I think you he on can this do one. It. He can pull it off. Anthony Hopkins can mm. be un can be anything. Like what well, he he he's not necessarily just likable, but I think maybe it's because you just like Anthony Hopkins. It's an, it's entirely possible. Yeah. Gray, who's your pick? Okay, so again, I am hoping that we have infinite budget on this. We're not just strapped Fantastic. to two hundred million. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would reach out to uh, this guy. Um, I've seen him just like again melt away into any character, and I know he could play a you know very dignified, noble person that uh, is somewhat standoffish, but could really again just carry this. Um, I've seen this dude play everything from like a punker to like the weirdest vampire to uh you know like every type of uh you this know character me. there really is under the sun uh yes sir i have to show all of the thinkers rosencrantz and gildenstern are dead awesome it is amazing yeah we should do that movie night i definitely want to be involved in the discord in uh, but yeah, I would choose Gary Oldman. Um, I, I just, I think he can pull off almost any role. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I really didn't think that he could pull off like Churchill or whatever, but, uh, my God, that dude just like kind of melts into it. 
Um, I really think that he could give that kind of creepy yet dignified energy that I think this character needs. Um, so that would be my choice. Um, if we're going timeless, though, um, I think this dude could also pull off the same thing, but I think he's just aged out slightly. Um, I've always loved him and everything I've seen him in. Uh, he just really seems to... I don't know. He he has this like certain air about him that I do see him as... Uh, you know, dignified, but uh, again, kind of standoffish and uh, kind of above me in every way. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I would choose Bill Nye, but I would just get him Ooh. aged down just a little <laughs> bit. But um, I don't know. I, I can see that dude being a lord and just really pulling it off. Um, I, I think I'd go, uh, you know, maybe a couple decades back, but uh, just that dude could really... Uh, I don't know. I, I think he could uh, really embody this character and uh, the kind of odd nature that it is. That reminds me, I considered Robert Redford for Kelsier as well in the Timeless cast. Ooh, that oh, been yeah. Uh, uh, the Timeless thing is great. It's a great, Thank you. Uh, great idea. Thank you. I'm, I'm, uh, thrilled that uh, both of you are enjoying it so much. Um, 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 that brings us to Ellen. And I'm assuming I've gotten a basic pick. Okay. Wait, something's not right. Are my pictures messed up? Hold on. Leonardo uh, could pull it off Ellen. if we just aged him. I Again, so. I, I rate Leonardo as a good actor. People, some lots of some people find him overrated. Um, maybe he takes himself very seriously, but who wouldn't? I fear in Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, I think it'd be hard not to. And like, look at you! Look at you! <laughs> yeah, just been in so much, and it's <laughs> you know uh, he could definitely sell a film. Uh, um, yeah. I don't know. Interesting though, he would have to actually act like his age. I, I feel like they keep casting him like in uh, *Killers of the Flower Moon*. I think he was mm. supposed to play like a twenty-year-old or something. I mean, he—it's—he's got a baby face. That's that. We got to wait for him to get into yeah. that that kind of old man look. That eventually will take him. Don't worry. But he's got this that baby <laughs> round yeah, face. Yeah, he looks up the role. We'll let him in the movie. <laughs> we'll let him in if he yeah, it's okay. Okay, so uh, I, for Ellen, I just went with your sort of basic teen heartthrob, very popular nowadays, Timothy Chalamet. Uh -oh. oh, come on. I think it was too, that was too easy. But yes, if we're going Jen yeah. Ortega, uh, why not? <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, that works. He'll, but I was very... Mm -hmm. Go on. He'll take it very seriously, and um, I don't know. I, I guess uh, I just was put off by him um, a bit too much. I, he he was too pretty. I think I found him too pretty. So you, uh, I'll be <clears throat> curious what you think of my timeless cast. Uh, what were okay. you going to say, Gray? Oh, so then it's a pretty boy. Um, I don't think it's ruining anything, or it's like a spoiler, but um. Brandon Sanderson said that there is one character that's kind of a self insert. It, it oh, really? would kind of be Ellen. Yeah. In so Ellen you see is a self insert. Brandon is a. Uh, and not really. He just said the closest. So. I yeah. mean, uh, Sanderson is a but uh, you see him as a bitch. Chalamet type. <laughs> um, I picked Heath Ledger for the Timeless, a young mm. Heath Ledger. Oh, really? I like you him see too him much. as the. Uh, oh, he's too. See, you see him as the read a book at the party type of guy. He really, I he think really he thinks pull he's it a pretty off. boy. He really does. Okay, okay. This this is fine. I'll, look. He might have said that at another time. I am not fully. Uh, I don't okay, know don't, all of his quotes. Yeah. I know at one point he mentioned Ellen. I accept that also, I have controversial yeah. opinions about I think you, I, I think you've got some, some okay, I, watch, watch this hypocrisy, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so 
for me with Ellen, it's kind of like he's he could be good looking. He could be, but it but he's also scrappy. Like he could be um hard throbby, but but I can't have him that pretty. Sorry, sorry, shot Timothy. You're 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 too soft and pretty. Uh Joe Keery from uh, Stranger Things. He's got that scruffy thing that he could oh, he, he could I see like a girl having a crush on him. It works. I I, I I like the idea of him. He he'd be a good pick, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the timeless one, um, yeah, Tom Willing. Maybe Tom Willing is a bit too pretty, even then. Um, oh, hair. Okay, I sorry, I didn't recognize him from the name. Yeah, hair. I um, sure I that him. isn't the image I was thinking of. Just hold on. I do. I'm sorry. I'm being right. ugly about it, but wait, don't care. Oh, 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 just just to give so you wait, guys an idea. Way less pretty boy than Chalamet. Yeah. Know. I guess I yeah, would, uh... he's he's okay. he's like I, I think maybe the hair is the most conventional part of him. Uh, I think Joe yeah. Perry is better looking than Timothy Chalamet. Really? To be honest, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, for me, yes, preference wise, I would probably go with that one, with with uh, Kiri. But uh, nowadays, the 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 youngins are are crazy for that that Timothy. Okay, um, and then a timeless. <laughs> A now, and this is where the hypocrisy comes in. If we're talking about, oh, we didn't want people that were pretty, go very go young Rob Lowe. Oh wow, yeah, not pretty at all. <laughs> that's a okay. that's a very pretty boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I totally see him. You know, not being the life of a party, not just playing saxophone and having everybody, you know, all eyes uh, on him. He, he could read a book. Look, you could you could you could ugly him down a little. Impossible. They've tried. They've failed. <laughs> he's he's just yeah. He's 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 very pretty. That's a very pretty p person. Um, but but yeah, I, I don't want him to be so beta. That that's the thing. Timothy is too skinny, man. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. He is very skinny. All right, Gray. So I, I again, you know, if we're gonna cast currently, we gotta we gotta get someone who's hot now. Uh, you know, we gotta we gotta get people into this theater. Uh, we need to make back our money. So uh, yeah, um, sadly, this actor did fail at some things. I, I think their uh, portrayal of Wonka is like the worst thing ever. But I also went super basic bitch and went with Timothy Chalamet. Um, you know, he's hot now. Uh, you know, we need kind of a smaller, unphysically imposing character, someone who looks like you know they might be from high class, but uh, you know, may not oh, be happy yeah. with that or whatever. Yeah, yeah, a little bit it soft works. for it, sure. Yeah, it works with the whole. So, I don't know. I, yeah, I would go Chalamet. I think uh, that with Ortega, you know, uh, hell, we, we've got people in the theaters already, uh, mm -hmm. but. I, I don't see him as like the perfect cast thing. Just, you know, if we've got some money to spare, yeah. yeah, let's just give it to him. Uh, but yeah, my, uh, actual choice, if I could go timeless, <laughs> um, there's a dude that I think could really pull it off. Um, I kind of got the same type of vibes from him, but I think he could really pull off this character much better. Um, his name is Colin Morgan. Uh, here I put it in chat, but, um, yeah, I think I first saw this dude in like Merlin, um, but I've seen him in a bunch of things since then. Oh, I uh, remember but Merlin. I don't know. I I think, and he's like in the Crown. Uh, he's been in a bunch of different uh, things. Um, he's always pretty consistent, and I could uh, I don't know. I could see him being this type of character. I could really see him kind of embodying this. Uh, you know, again, kind of soft, kind of from upper class, uh, mm -hmm. you know, but not really wanting to be there. Um, I, I could see him as a lord. So, this might uh, actually be yeah, my I think favorite Ellen casting that we've come with. I like Me this image. Yeah. I like this image on him. Let me put it in the Discord, see what you guys think. Okay, so Nass, we'll get to Lord Ruler. Um, no, I and don't know. Yeah. It, has, it hasn't history. really, but we have, but it, uh, uh, Dorcas just included it. 
uh, I think, just for what he seems like in, in right. our minds so, currently. Yeah. Okay, so for the Lord Ruler, when I was picking, based off of the information that we have now and the suppositions we have, I think it's fair to say that both Kitty and I are under the impression that Epigraph Man and the Lord Ruler are one in the same. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going with that. Um, I, I know that uh, Brandon Sanderson has said that this story is what if the young hero lost? Um, or what if the hero lost? And I, so I wanted someone who was a young hero and I assume he became immortal at a younger age. So I didn't want, you know, uh, someone, I wanted someone who would, I wanted a young guy for it. So I went mm -hmm. with, uh, someone who could also handle the intensity and the agedness, but hide it behind a young face. So mm -hmm. I went with Nicholas Holt. Ooh, yeah, I can see it. And and Gray, oh. you have to keep quiet about whatever description you've had of him. Okay, so this yes. is just this is the character that we we just have. But this is what we would want him to look like based on what we know about him now, which is not his appearance at all. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Willem Dafoe in any character, it's. It's acceptable. I'm. I'm actually. I, I had Willem Dafoe somewhere, but I took him out, and I think it was because I was like, "We'll waste him." <laughs> Gordon's like, "You never waste him." Uh, so, Gray, if you feel like your casting choices would be spoilers, tell us, and we'll skip you. Just for any of the characters. Yeah, I think I'm going to sit out this round. Okay. Um, I have some interesting choices. They might be hot takes, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit out. Okay. Okay. Good uh timeless okay uh oh right who did i pick for timeless uh so for timeless i wanted someone who i think is uh a bit too old if we're going with my younger theory uh but i wanted someone who was big and muscular and imposing to sort of contrast against my current pick so i went with michael fassbender oh well, yeah it works for me that also works but also because love fassbender um okay uh yeah that works at any age really that we whichever one you want to pick for this character um okay so for me uh i, I picture him as blonde um okay. and the uh i have alexander skarsgård uh, he's he is a bit older than i do agree i feel like it is the young here he he would be you would have to make him look a bit younger but but more um soft face but um yeah i just love him he he does immortal really well um immortal bad guy but also has some good somewhere hidden um i love him uh no i wouldn't have him with the facial hair that's what i'm trying to say he's he's clean shaven and then my timeless would be um, an of age, the same sort of age, uh, Paul Newman. That would be awesome. I didn't think about Paul Newman for anyone in this. Uh, that would be amazing. I went and really I, old timey. I went really old timey. <laughs> and I almost cast your current as Kelsier too. I think he would work, but uh, oh, he I don't would know. work as Kelsier. I, kind of, I could totally see it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not that. No, they did where no. one would have, was I thinking. Um, Go like Slapshot, man. Oh, no, man. Slapshot. He would definitely be older in Slapshot. I was... Oh, you were joking? Yeah. An attempt. Okay, 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 okay. Not Slapshot. Uh, here, let's go here. I'll just take this. Or actually, this one is fine. This one works too. Yeah. Um, oh, um, actually, that one's better. <laughs> Which one? The first, the top, or the bottom? This one. This one. This one. The bottom. This one I've seen. No. Bottom. Oh. oh, third. Okay. Going, going, going. Shush, William. Um, with Robert uh, Pattinson, 
he he could do so much as well. I I I if if he got cast in something that just seemed like so off, I'd be like, you know what, he could probably do it because after I heard that that voice he made for the the uh the the boy in the hair and or whatever it is, I'm like, you know what, that man can do all kinds of things. Okay. Which brings us to Shan. Mm -hmm. Um. So Shan was a character that I had um, w was someone whom I had switched at the last minute uh, a, a, several times. I just I, mm -hmm. I, I I I had initially who did I have? Where is she? Uh, I wanted someone who was stunningly gorgeous. Mm. Uh, and who who could control a room and was deceptively, not deceptively. So because the episode hasn't aired yet, I'll, I, I will share that um, a little bit of a teaser. Kite did not like Lady Shan at all respectfully if, if if i'm if i am misrepresenting your opinion please let me know no um it's not misrepresented. I, that's highly accurate yes i found myself with uh, a certain degree of empathy for weak her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and in the chapter that kitty and i are going to record after this live stream um there was some a mention of her as well that i think supports my uh casting i wanted someone who i thought could actually appear a, a bit on the nicer side and a bit away from the bitchy side so i went with uh daniela melchior damn what what do i know too, her she's from too, she's too soft here. Mm -mm. She's too soft. She's too pretty. Well, I mean, pretty is exactly what we wanted, but she's too. I like her too much. Mm -mm. Doesn't work. <laughs> and then for my uh, ageless or timeless, uh, if anyone has seen Meet. Ah, what's happening? Computer <gasps> stuff. Commit. Uh, if anyone has seen, uh, ooh, a young Charisma Carpenter would be fantastic. Uh, but I went with Claire Forlani, if you've seen Meet Joe Black. Oh, yeah. Or Mall Rats. Or Mall Rats. I just think she could do I'm that assuming. bitchiness very well, but also softness that you would kind of still feel sorry for. I can see, I can see the way that you feel for this character in your casting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm blown away by the charisma carpenter idea that she would be. Are you gonna? Incredible. Why don't you put her on the left there? I I think I will. Oh, Jennifer Connelly. That actually works. I'm, I'm I might want to change my my answer. Mm hmm. That's a pretty girl. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, Kite, speak. Okay. Please. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the. Okay. So yeah, that that works. Uh, I suppose. Um, so with my uh, my Shan, she has to also be. Yeah. Like, What's happening? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm Ule. Is that what you're doing? I'm Ule. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Um, so there is, uh, okay, so w when it comes to um, uh, with her, she has to be like irritatingly beautiful as well. Um, but she must also be able to pull off bitchiness. So I couldn't have her too soft-lipped. Uh, I, I, yeah, I couldn't have her too too soft like that, okay? So 
Um, mine is from from uh, uh, it follows Ma Micah Monroe. She is I, I, wow. the reason is because when I didn't I think about her at it, all, but that's an interesting choice. Yeah, uh, I I just because she's just oh she's beautiful. Uh, Gordon thinks that I, I I have some weird taste in women, but um, yeah, uh, I think she's she's quite stunning. He he wanted Kristen Stewart. I was like, eh, she. I just just don't like her as an actress. I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I think she could pull off the kind of like bitchiness, uh, Kristen Stewart. Yeah. But I don't know if she could do like the connivingness or whatever. Like I don't know. I kind of don't see her on that level. Well, she she see seems this girl. she seems too sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, wait, I need to find her looking sexier. That's too sweet. You see, you can see how much he likes Shan. <laughs> Look, you... <laughs> mean people come off at... They trick... I got nothing. That mean people don't have... <laughs> Mean mean people have have reasons for being mean, yeah. I, I mean they, they people have... are exceptionally good at pretending to be nice and likable. Mm -hmm. Kristen uh, Bell. Someone... Okay, so um, look, if I'm talking, I just went. Oh well, who's who's pretty? It was between Kira Knightley and Natalie Portman because I was like, you know what? Seeing as I had my my favorite, uh. My favorite male star, Tom Hardy. I'll just say Natalie Portman because I just love Natalie Portman. Um, and I feel like she could be a bitch too. She can, like, you don't mess with her, man. Have you seen her rap? Don't do it. <laughs> Natalie Portman, you said? Yeah. And I say timeless because, yeah, she's, she's aged out. and I don't know. Just... Because it's just out there. It's my out there choice. Fair enough. I, I mean, I think she it. would. Uh, she could definitely play that person. I could see that mm. for sure. She would need need that long ass hair. But she... Okay. Uh, I guess you know more <laughs> about Shan than we do, Gray. But. Go on. Um, a wee bit. Um, but that being said, um, for some reason, I didn't picture her as like either a brunette or with dark hair. So mm -hmm. perhaps uh, in my mind, I have it even more confused. Perhaps you guys are closer to it. Um, I don't know. So I imagined her kind of like you're saying as, you know, like kind of that pretty type. Um, again, you know, like the upper class uh you know, uh, but she has to be able to have these kind of barbs where you, you think she mm -hmm. could be kind of the mean girl type, the one that definitely is conniving and, uh, you know, manipulative, but definitely has uh, something going on, some sort of game that they're playing. Uh, so I don't know what kind of came to mind for me. Uh, Elle Fanning. Uh, I don't know why she just seems like that type to me. Um, I remember her from like Super 8 and uh, a few of them from like the last few years. I'm forgetting what it was, but she played like Aurora and Maleficent. And there was this other one that was kind of a period piece. Um, I don't know. I, I could just see her as kind of this noble that uh, oh, is conniving to me. This, pic this um, picture of her works. Yeah. Let me put it in the, in the Discord. I'll see which one. Um... What yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of see that as like the Shan character, you know. Look, She's engaged, Shan. but we haven't, uh, she hasn't seen, uh, you know, her whatever uh, fiance in like a year. Uh, I, I don't know. I see her as that type. Oh, but, she's uh, perfect. I could be wrong. No, I think yours is better than mine. She's perfect. And the, yeah, well, awesome. Ah. And then I, but that's there that it picture, is. I suppose, uh, is not what you were thinking. Rather, rather use yeah, great picture that than works. mine. I guess maybe she is a little bit, uh, Older, maybe I should have aged her down. Every uh, picture that I saw, she was just a little bit younger. Round uh, but face. One, I don't know. But that's maybe I thought just a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. And then um, <clears throat> who I'd go for like the timeless one. Um, there is kind of a character that kind of came to mind for me when I was thinking about this. You know, who would be that character? Who could be that kind of, you know, they're obviously pretty. Uh, they're obviously kind of high class. But... At the same time, you know, they've got schemes going on, they've got plans, and they 
are ruthless. Um, so Natalie Dormer came to mind. Um, she kind of plays that character in Game of Thrones. If I could just kind of, you know, age her down just a little tiny bit, I think uh, Marjorie Tyrell would just be perfect for that character. Yes. Uh, but um, again, I think she's just a little bit aged out on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of what I pictured with this character. Yeah. Well, we know Ellen uh, is 21. So. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so she's yeah, like fantastic. Now. Yeah. Cameron. Uh, do 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 do. Let's take a trip back to prison break. I wanted someone who could do that. <laughs> to <Finally>. be that. <laughs> oh, I think I know who you're gonna choose from there. <gasps> someone I've got. Could... A, I've got a guess. Someone yeah. who can be the penguin, but also just, um, you know, turn completely cowardly in a heartbeat. Um, Wade Williams. Okay, that's not who I was thinking. <laughs> who were you thinking? Okay, that is not who I was guessing either, but okay. All right, then. I, I like that guy in everything that I've seen him in. Uh, he definitely stands out. He's a oh, really he works good character actor. He really does work as Kevin. Who did you think Kevin. I meant when I said prison break? Uh, the guy oh, that, that stabbed. Um, Many people see prison break. stabbed in that show, I think. <laughs> no, uh, he's oh, great. oh, oh, a Stormare. What? Uh, I think his name is Peter Stormare or something like that. He, he's a Peter good Stormare villain. is amazing, man. He's I was kind of hoping you were going with him. The blonde from Fargo is just amazing. No, Peter Stormare is way, way too powerful to be Kamen. Wade Williams. Fair enough. I thought you were going like dream casting here. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. this is no. awesome. So Teabag from... from uh... I love that actor. Um, yeah, I love the... him. But he's he not fat so enough. Correct, <laughs> and that's yes, correct. But but um, I thought that he could be a good a good villain. Yeah. Uh, but for my timeless cast, this actor uh, is uh, aged out of it, but he's fantastic. Uh, Timothy Spall. Oh yeah. Oh, that dude! I oh, don't I think I would have recognized him by his name, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I think, although. I think Luck. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, Vincent D'Onofrio would be cool. Yes. Although I'm... We haven't even recorded the episode yet, Kite, but mm -hmm. Hoyt, uh, I'm thinking Timothy Spall could work for as well, but I don't know Hoyt well enough mm -hmm. yet. I haven't even given Hoyt mm -hmm. a voice yet that we're doing. I would see different, but uh, perhaps mine is kind of marred by uh i, like I don't know Vincent i guess the fan thing. castings don't know for the frio he's he, that's a good <laughs> again is that i, 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 I would have thought that you would be good at pronouncing that uh don't know frio. i thought that i sucked at it yeah think, no, that's how we say it like americanized but i don't mm -hmm. know what it should be or whatever if it's even close to italian i think vincent d'onofrio has the same issue as peter stormare though i think he's too powerful uh hmm. fair enough again, who, um oh yeah, we're trying to do oh. dream casting here though man like is... yeah dream casting means like he will be able to to take on the character with the way he looks that that's what i a lot of the time like like with natalie portman i'm like i don't know but they, you know what because you can because you're an actor and 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 i'm telling you to do it and you break out and, and it's an amazing role you know yeah. Oh, William Richards has a good one too. Um, I forget his name, the, but the actor who played Foggy Nelson. That wouldn't be bad. I could kind of see that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Kite, who who was your choice for Kamen? Uh, I wonder how you're going to feel about this, but okay, I just know that Paul Giamatti would, would pull it off. <laughs> I love it. That would be awesome. I think the role might be below him, but it would be awesome. Yeah. Yes, and also yes. Uh, I just can see him being able to be absolutely cruel, and and you hate him, and you 
he, he's such a good actor because you can hate him and you can love him. You can do all kinds of things with this, this person. So yeah, um, he he was my my first pick, um, and then Timeless because I just know he could do it, and he could be he could be you could make him tubby. You could do anything. Just Jack Nicholson. He'll he'll <laughs> maybe he's too powerful. Then rough. we're talking about too powerful. That's <laughs> that's too uh, much. I... I suppose. If he could tone himself down. <laughs> I think it's definitely a little below him, but that would be awesome. I could definitely I, see him cars, as kind of the uh, leader of a crew. Listen, we're bringing people back from the dead. We can include, we can include him. Uh, I, I, he definitely seems like the boss type. I don't know that his crew would be the best. So uh, I don't know. It seems kind of fitting. Hate a dirty crew you, with you, him. Yeah, you could really hate him. He would, he I would considered... really make you hate him. I considered Paul Giamatti for Breeze at one point. Yeah, I also did. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. <Nightwing. laughs> it would be a different thing, but you know, I want to see that. I think he could yeah. pull it off. Uh, we, we, I'm, I'm sure Sanderson will love it. for him for the it. Oscar, man. The holdovers what? was amazing. Based off of that, I think he can play anyone. He can do Ben. Yeah, you know what? Like. Considering what I'm hearing about Sanderson and his adaptation picks, that 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 makes sense. <laughs> so, Gray, who are your picks? Um, okay, so my current one, it might be kind of a strange pick. Um, this isn't like the biggest character in the story, but I, I think it really should uh, get somebody who can kind of, you know, who does embody the boss, uh, who definitely could be running their own crew. But also, uh, you know, is Ooh. definitely subservient and can pull off that kind of uh, meager asking for a loan, but willing at the same time to try and pull one over. Um, I, I don't know. That to me uh, just, I, I feel like this actor, I've seen him in so many different things. He really kind of blends into uh, every role that he's in. I guess I keep saying that a lot. But um, a lot of them, I... I just had a picture of their face and had to kind of come up with who the actor was. This is definitely one of them. Um, Toby Jones. This dude has been amazing in like almost everything that he's been in. Oh, yes. Um, I considered him too. I I just think this is like the kind of role that he really could kind of sink his teeth into. And I think he does have the chops that he could definitely come off as a boss and be intimidating despite his, you know, size and kind of meager uh voice if you will but um i don't know i've seen him take a turn in quite a few different things i think he could be awesome uh, i'd reach out to him see if he wants to play this role but um if not if we're going uh timeless um there is kind of another actor that stands out to me um i would have to go back a little bit for him but uh so yeah we would be uh aging him down just a little bit but um i don't know this dude was in so many different things uh and he always just kind of stood out to me um uh, but uh <laughs> yeah it's mark addy but i think i'd want to go somewhere around uh i don't know a little bit past uh hmm, i'm trying to think like where exactly his role would be in there um I would want to age him back like a couple decades, definitely after Full Monty. Uh, but mm -hmm. I think this dude could also come off as the conniving type who is, oh, yeah. you know, coming in there super meager, asking for, you know, please choose me. But at the same time, having somebody try and manipulate, you know, the authority. Um, mm -hmm. I, I could really see this guy pull off the scoundrelness and still be kind oh, of a yeah. minor boss. Uh, I would totally love Mark Addy in it if I could. Cast love that it. Mm, I like that. So my current cast Ulef pick was aged out uh, from uh, Les de Bornes, but I think mm -hmm. Skylar Gazondo can uh, do the role well enough because mm -hmm. uh, he, he can also be... Well, did anyone see him in uh, Three Stooges? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not fond of uh, Ulef, and I think Gazondo could pull that off. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, but for a timeless version, if we could get a young Justin Long, uh, 
Hmm. Oh, that is interesting. I guess he would be kind of, uh, yeah, he would be inviting. Uh, you definitely see why he was trusted. Yeah. But uh, he is good at taking a turn in his character. Uh, he could definitely pull that off. Again, this might be a little bit below him. Sure, sure. Kitta? Okay, I'm going to put this picture in because I don't even remember how I found this person. Um, <laughs> okay, excited. Okay, his name is Fia Noche. Uh, and then... Uh, and then uh, for my sort of timeless, although they're, they're both interchangeable at this point. Uh, maybe actually I would, if, it, if we're going timeless, I'd wait until Jaden's a bit older. Jaden Martell. Huh. That, that's literally because of the ears and stuff. That's just how I see you live. Okay. Uh I think I found him on like IMDb's list of young actors. <laughs> I think it would work. Um, oh, okay. I could definitely see him being. Uh, I could see a quick but time older, with that kid. Just older. Yeah. If you got him older, he would work. Sure. Kitte with the reversal on the aged out. <laughs> hey, it's we gotta age him in timeless casting now. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Ooh, maybe I'll age up a couple of my characters. <laughs> Justin Long, sir, is a fantastic. Nah, actor. mine. It's just just my With guy. Many... Where did I see him from? <laughs> uh, it's, I think it's just because I went on IMDb Young Actors. Sure. Okay. Gray. Okay, so I was thinking, who is a character that, you know, you could kind of trust, kind of understand why somebody would trust, but you can totally understand them turning and, uh, you know, you could have contempt for this character. Mm -hmm. uh, one kind of person came to mind. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I, I think I would choose uh, Isaac Hempstead Wright, uh, you know, uh you might know him as Bran Stark. Uh, uh, for some reason, I just, I kind of yeah, hate this guy. And yeah. I think he would work as someone that, I, like, you know, you yeah. could see why someone would trust him. But when he turns, like, just, you know, yeah, you, you can understand like that he is not on your side. Yeah, because we started off liking <laughs> Bran. Started off liking Bran. Freaking hate it. Well, that's kind of what we need in this arc. So hopefully it's yeah. built in. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then... <laughs> Uh, my next one, I, I would have to age them down just a slight, slight bit. Um, <laughs> that That's is kind true. Of that funny. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, I could definitely see it. Um, we could also go timeless, uh, a young Ben Shapiro on this one. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't hate it. Um, look, did you yeah, see his I, performance in Lady Ballers? Absolutely stunning. I did. <laughs> yes. Uh, brave. <laughs> um, yeah, but, um, so I guess I was stuck in this kind of Game of Thrones mindset and I was trying mm. to think like who else has kind of a creepiness to them. You think you could oh. trust them, but at the same time you could see a turn. Um, mm. so I think I'd age him down just a little bit, a little bit closer to Ven's age, but, uh, I'd go with Thomas Brody Sangster, um, Fantastic who pick. is also in, uh, he is also in Game of Thrones. Uh, now I'm forgetting exactly what his name Jolten. is in that, but he's the. Uh, that's oh yes, it. thank that's you. Perfect. Yeah, I don't that know is why exactly. I was, uh, yeah. Blanking on it. Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite one for this group. But yeah, I think I'd go someone like him, where I could definitely see the turn, but I could also see how you'd trust him. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think he he could pull that off really well. But this might again be a little bit below him. Now he's a Game of Throneser. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> for the Inquisitors, we, we are going with three Inquisitors, and I wanted Hulks, I wanted Scary, I wanted <laughs> Relentless, I wanted, like, never ever want to meet these people and make them mad. Um, and we talked about him already, but uh, Peter Stormare. Yeah. 
Oh, really? Okay. Nice. The blonde yeah, from that Fargo. Is, I love that, that guy. Is, that is a good... Yeah. So, uh, he. this is a guy that will chase you down. Oh, and uh, yeah, yeah. Relentlessly. I guess I guess uh, I, I, I want to put my vote for him because you'll see. Okay. Uh, and then Hellboy himself... Ron Perlman. <laughs> I just don't like looking okay. at him. Okay, I can I can see it. I, yeah, so I guess it works because I just don't like looking at him. His face, he's just massive. Everything is big. Uh, I'm, I, 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 I'm afraid of him. <laughs> it's true. And then... I think uh, that's what you need in mm -hmm. an Inquisitor, though. Like, like, yeah, like I just don't want to meet him. Uh, and then uh, we need another big tank back to Game of Thrones, Rory McCann. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Uh, See the I original. Think... What? The original mountain wasn't there. The original mountain. There were two no, he, uh, he's, the, he's the, hound. the hound. The hound. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But and then... he also got pretty big by the end. Yeah. And then for uh, the timeless cast, uh, I switched out. I believe it was Ron Perlman, and I threw in Ray Liotta. Oh, that works. Ooh, that would be awesome. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But I kept Peter Stormare and Rory McCann because I think they're perfect as they are for this. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kitte, who are your inquisitors? Okay, I don't have timeless ones because it's they're all just... It, it's whatever. I don't know. I couldn't find. Nice. It, it, I just couldn't. I couldn't think of others that I wanted, and I was like, "We can make them however we want them to look at this point, considering what we've seen." Uh, so, if we're talking big, scary, Alan Richardson. Um, <laughs> nice. Big, big, scary, run away! Oh my God! Please, you can make. Wait, very didn't scary. you pick Alan Richardson Richardson earlier? No, that was that was me. Uh, that, that was, was uh, okay. Uh, he's he he's is a, my uh, he's my ham. Yeah, he's, no, he's a tank. Me. He's uh, an absolute tank, and yes. uh, and you can make him scary. You can make him very very scary. Um, and you know what? Let's go, John Cena voice. <laughs> <laughs> I I was looking through pictures of John Cena. I was like, you know what? That's a good one. Let's do it. I, I, you know what? I know that, that I know that you, know, you can't see him. You can't unsee. Yeah, but you also can't see past the fact that that's John Cena. I know, but you know yeah. what? I thought I'd just have fun with these last three. I was like, you know, what, whatever. Let's do it. So I threw in a John Cena. Yeah. Can you not uh, throwing in a Cavill? I uh, mean, no. he's intimidating. No, he's too pretty. He's he's too I, lo I love him. I love him. I don't want to stick anything through his eyes. Um. The uh, then half Thor Bjornsson, if you want to talk big boy. Oh, I yeah. totally missed that. Who did you say? Wrong man. Half Thor. Half Bjornsson. Thor Bjornsson. Uh, the mountain. The mountain, sir. The real mountain. Uh, he is a strong man. Uh, he holds a lot of records, um, specifically in deadlift. But that dude is scary. He's such a big boy. Very scary. He he can hold Kelsia with one hand, one hand, you know, just just put For lift sure. up Kelsia by the neck like that. Um, and that's him bulked up. Uh, yeah. He got very shredded recently, which would also be very scary. But mm -hmm. uh, either way, strong dude. Then Gray, who uh, are your picks? Okay, so these would be my current ones. Um, so I went kind of a different route with it. Um, I did want scary, but I definitely want intimidating, but a different type of intimidating. Mm -hmm. um, so I think my main one, I would go with Mark Strong. Um, I, I guess when I think of the Inquisitors, I don't know why, but I just picture them all as bald. Um, yeah, I, I don't that, know why. So I chose a bunch of bald it. actors. Yeah. Uh, so I thought kind of uh, a Mark Strong would be an amazing one. Like he's always intimidating in everything that he's in. Um, he is just kind of like the epitome of like the villain guy. Um, mm -hmm. So I just, I see him as an awesome inquisitor. Um, he's intimidating, but not because of his size. And uh, that's kind of the yeah. thing with, you know, 
this world. Um, and then I'll the next like one that I'd choose too. is <laughs> kind of a weird one. Um, I, I'd go Lawrence Fishburne. I don't know if it's just the Morpheus thing makes me think of the nails mm -hmm. through the eyes. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I do kind of see him as that same type of intimidating character, uh, somewhat relentless. Um, I think he could pull it off, but uh, he would be one of the older ones. Uh, hopefully we could get him in shape a little bit. But um, yeah, and then my final one, it's kind of a weird casting. Uh, again, I'm thinking of like weird um, actors that I like to hate that are bald. Um, one really comes to mind. And that's Billy Zane. I just hate that dude. Um, but I think he plays a really good villain. Um, I don't know. I think I'd like to see him with nails through the eyes. But maybe that's just me. That's just, um, but yeah, not I like Billy him. Zane. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I did have kind of a fun casting for uh, Timeless. Um, I think I would go much scarier and much more disturbing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Billy Zane is disturbing and scary. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I'd go slightly different with this um so i'd go like my main inquisitor as michael ironside um i'm not sure if you're familiar with his uh past uh work but that dude um he is just amazing um every single role that he's in he's super intimidating uh he doesn't have to say anything uh if i could age him down just a little bit i think he'd be an amazing inquisitor um, and then I think a second one would be Michael Berryman. Um, you definitely recognize this dude from a ton of horror movies from like the Hills have eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, there's just a ton of other ones, but he is, um, a little bit, uh, he stands out visually. Um, you definitely recognize this dude. Um, I could totally see him Damn. being an inquisitor. And then, uh, the final guy also kind of along the same lines, um, james tolkien um he also is another bald actor that's kind of iconic and just kind of stands out in my mind that would be very intimidating and kind of creepy to see um so yeah i would totally uh choose that dude um and i'd have to age him down a little bit but uh you might remember mm -hmm. him as like the principal in back to the future um you know he i would definitely want to keep him around that uh age range to be the inquisitor but uh I think he would also have a certain intimidation factor about him. You know the guy you oh, hate? That was kind of my inquisitors. The guy that you hate? Yeah. I think um, he would make a... He, I also think, would be a good obligator. Tattoos and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Just, I could definitely see that. Mm -hmm. in it. Uh, so Kite and I uh, have read the first <laughs> chapter with Hoyd. Um, so... I, I we've didn't. Met him. And we've met him. Yeah. So we, we've met him uh, and Lord Venture. Uh, I didn't ask us to like pick anyone out immediately. Uh, but good night, Ness. Um, <laughs> but, uh, like I, my. I think I could kind of. Go on. So do you have um, feelings on Hoyd so far? Anything like that? Like okay. obviously you know the name, so I'm assuming you know something I mean, about. Him. I I got worm tongue vibes from him, hmm. but uh, I also got the uh, not going to be a main character vibes from him. So that's that's what I felt. So now you, that that's minor spoil. Uh, <laughs> and then hmm. I got Charles Dance vibes for uh, for Lord Venture. Hmm. Hmm. That would be interesting. But uh... <laughs> that's true. It is kind of scary to see Jeff Bridges and Iron Man. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We already cast that dude. You know, we're gonna take him in the Wayback Machine, so we can't we can't use him in the future as well. But uh, I don't know. I could see something like that for sure. Taylor here is spitting straight facts. Yeah, uh, I, I love that, but also, oh, okay. Uh. Ooh, a Daniel Radcliffe type. I do also think uh, someone from the Potter world would be perfect, but uh, you'd have to age him back like a long ways. But uh, that's kind of who I picture for it. Oh, man. So that's everyone. Big list, lots of castings. 
uh, yeah. Would be interesting to revisit once we finish. Yes. Book, uh, at least the first book. Oh we yeah, are we'll, for sure. We'll revisit this eventually. I am sure we'll get Gray back. Uh, we'll have more discussion about what the Lord Ruler could be cast as once we learn more about what he looks like. Mm -hmm. um, Hell yeah. It'd be interesting and... if we would like to change anything, you know, as characters progress. Yes. Mm. Uh, I think we should wrap it up now then. Mm -hmm. Deal. Uh, this, this has been awesome, guys. This is really fun. I uh, hadn't thought out the casting for every single character, but there are some that really popped out. So this was kind of a fun exercise. Uh, I definitely didn't think this through nearly as tough, uh, <laughs> as thoroughly, I should say. Yeah, I had a I had a wonderful time. I was thrilled with many of your picks, especially ones that like hadn't even occurred to me. It was also neat seeing the ones that I did consider in other roles that you applied mm -hmm. to different characters um thank you everyone in the chat who showed up for this um turnout was way better than i expected and i'm so grateful for everyone that was chatting in the chat um when the episodes premiere i don't usually type in the chat i want to clarify that's just because i'm awkward about that um but I, I am reading the chat during the premieres, and I am very grateful for the for them. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm sometimes there, I'm sometimes not. I try to be there. Sometimes I'm half in and out. I'm, I'm at Rosales' stream at the same time as we're starting off. Um, I'm just usually there to make fun of myself. So. Uh, and Kite and Gray both have channels, so show yourselves, please. Uh, we do chaotic things on my channel. I do chaotic things on my channel. Go and have a look. See whether you find anything you like because, yeah, we do diagrams. We uh, we actually, guys, by the way, introduction. We're going to do music. Oh, we're, me. I'm one person. But um, music, uh, music reactions are incoming. So um, that's going to happen. Uh, and yeah, diagrams, uh, we've got our thinkers, which the two, we have Dorcas and Gray, I think is on a Thursday, um, where we do a think on things and gaming and all of the things. Maybe I'm just too much for you. I don't mind if, if that's it, you know, just, just give me a try, see what's up or just come around on Thursdays when everybody else is there. And by all means, Mr. Richards, uh, Steal the stream idea. Although technically he's yeah. asking you, Kite. Well, no, it's it was Dorcas's idea. But by all means, yes, do it. You too can steal yeah. from Dorcas. <laughs> the time was uh, the <laughs> best drug of yeah. genius ever. Yeah. Thank you. No, we'll we'll do more like this with different mm. restrictions, and mm. we'll see which actors we we'll put our mind to it. Great, mm -hmm. show yourself, please. Um, yeah, I've got a channel. Uh, video should be coming out again soon. Um, I was supposed to have two conversations this last week, and they both kind of fell through uh, because of me. So, um, yeah, I got to get that going again. They hopefully will happen in the next little while, but uh, I should have some other videos I'm working on out soon. But always check out uh, that darn kid's channel every Thursday for thinkers. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know. I'm around. Yeah. Gray has only missed two thinkers out of many, many. <laughs> two and a half. I mean, yeah. damn that internet. And uh, I, I think we should, we can ask Dorcas to um, to save this, export it, and put it in the Discord. Uh, so Vin, Vin um, can have a good look at it. Or, or are you not comfortable with that? That's fine. No, I can, I can totally do that. Let's or we see. can just put pictures of Tom Hardy in the Discord. <laughs> and Henry Cavill. Yeah, Let's do it. I mean, as... He should be in every Discord. Yeah, just you should just spam the Discord with Henry Cavill in random picks. Okay, cool. my husband will be thrilled. Okay. Okay. Uh, have a wonderful evening. A wonderful 
uh, weekend, and you can indeed. Yeah, and you, you can you indeed. We <laughs> should. It's an incredible voice. Yes, it is. Why do you think we're friends with him? Psst. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boy. That's all.